And we're off. Hi, guys. Welcome to We Might Be Drunk, the number one podcast featuring me today. Oh, yeah. My hosts today are Mark Norman and Sam Morrill. Thanks my- for having us on. Yeah, you're welcome. Good to see you again. All right, <laughs> All right Jew on YouTube. Boy, I, you might have beat Stavros's record. It's already at 4.3. Yeah, do do you feel like you got a bump due to Kanye? No question. No question. Yeah. We worked it out for a while. <laughs> he was like, I'm ready to go off. I'm like, dude, Cal, give me three weeks. Yeah. I'm releasing this thing in no time. Just give me a few weeks. He's like, all right, I got to meet Trump. Then I'll meet with you. Yeah. He goes, it's the Arabs or you. I'm like, make it the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Kyrie too. You got a couple. You got yeah, a couple really of nice bonds. You know what's scary about the Kyrie stuff is I I'll go click on it and it's just people going facts. Yep, sing it, sister. And you're like, oh, that's yeah. when you get scared. When it's some crazy guy's talking. It's funny about Kanye too. Is like he posted. Uh, he was like, hey, I saw this. Here's a link to this thing I saw. And everyone's like, fuck you, fuck you. And it's just on Amazon though. Yeah, <laughs> it's not like he uncovered it from the hidden like Nazi chambers. It, it's <laughs> readily available. And everyone's like, no, nah, that's fine. But him him watching it. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. I, I knew the anti-Semitism weird. got bad because I got written up as an article in this article recently uh, as openly Jewish. <laughs> openly Jewish. <laughs> That's how you know shit's getting kind of dicey. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think the eyebrows said that. <laughs> this, could be, this could be... Uh, yeah, that could be a lot of That's stuff. true. Yeah. That's true. You could blend. I yeah. could blend. You can do some cash. I got some Turkish in here. You can collaborate. Ooh. We got some vodka. I want to try a vodka, dude. Vodka with sour cream. Damn, but we just ate at a deli. We should have waited. it. You can have a vodka. Idiots. I have vodkas there, too? No, I had a beef barley and a, and a cabbage with the meat in it. Stuffed cabbage? Oh, I love a stuffed Mark cabbage. Mark really is like this close to being a Jew. I wish. He really is. You're like on the... Except for the hatred. I'll take everything else. <laughs> you're the, I would say you're the Rachel Dolezal of Jews. Ooh, <laughs> Dolezal. You're trying so hard. Yes, I'm Rachel Dolezberg. You're Ra- Rachel De- Dolezal. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Peters. You really did it up here. This Damn. is almost offensive. <laughs> <laughs> if I was like, I didn't sign up for any of this. <laughs> I'm just here to talk about my new book. Well, do you have a, a bit of a hatred? Because you went so far in, and then you got the hell out you were orthodox for a yeah, hot minute yeah and now you're you went the other way it's like a preacher's daughter thing where you got hoary so what are you saying so i'm saying do you have like a weird uh resentment towards the heaps no nah, i did for a little bit ah uh-huh. no i kind of have enough distance now i have enough distance i love him but kinda the- like jay leno you know, he Wait, got off what? the air for a while. I was uh, like, fuck him. He sucks. Jay walking is lame. And then you're like, ah, this guy's got cars. He's all right. I, love, cool. I like Jay, man. And he, uh, I'm glad he's okay. You heard he just went up the other night at the Comedy and Magic Club. No. Oh, yeah, oh, and his, his opener was, yeah, but he just was lit on fire. A menorah got him. Wait. Oh, I, no, I did not hear that. You, you didn't, didn't know, know he was pull on him fire? Up. He's all jacked up. He's okay. He's but his okay. opener was, I didn't know I was a roast comic. Like, he addressed oh, it. He wow. had fun with it. Oh, he got great. caught on fire by a menorah? <laughs> no, it was a, an engine, uh, oh. a gasoline fire, and it got yeah. on his face, and his face caught fire. Yeah. 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 It was you the didn't worst episode this? of Comedian Cars yet. <laughs> <laughs> Very hot coffee. <laughs> the no, show really okay, is like man. Comedians in Cars, but for people with germophobia. There he is, and still in the denim. They got him denim scrubs just to be nice. <laughs> Dude, we, we, did a, we were doing an actor strike. I did to get my SAG card. The commercials union was going on strike, and so we're out there picketing shit i didn't care about i just needed that card yeah and uh he rolled by well by three oh. times we're honking. He's like you keep fighting damn look at that he looks like a like a sack a little bit he's damn. got the burn looks like he was taken by a flip phone huh. <laughs> <laughs> happy i text him i know him a little bit whoa i, know him a little. I said I'm really? you're okay text and he wrote back immediately oh wow yeah, wrote, who's this <laughs> but, uh, no, he wrote back. Thanks, so he says thanks, Sam. Wow, that's yeah. fire! Yeah. All <laughs> right, who are these fucking nurses taking a picture with a man who's just been scarred? <laughs> it's like, let's take a fucking public picture now. Well, he's a tough guy. He's like already back at it and he rolling with it. He'll never stop working. He hates the victim thing. There's a story that he went in one day on the Tonight Show with a broken leg. What? He broke his leg and still went. And just went in. Yeah, wow. he just liked doing. He the was Tonight like, "Someone will take my job." I know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do we have going oh, on here? Whoa, whoa, watch out, Leno. <laughs> oh, my God. High-priced drinks for low prices. You said thematic, right? So yeah. uh, You got a shot of that there, yeah. Pete? <laughs> How weird would it be if he lit himself on fire, right? I know. It would yeah. be so wow. appropriate. I'll take, I'll take one of these. Get a lot. Yeah. With the sound. Great touch, Pete. How many Google sessions did you have to do to figure this out? Danielle What? Maybe's? Damn. Now I'm even more attracted to her. <laughs> What are we doing, Beer Jew? Is she Jewish? Ah. Danielle, come on. Wow. No wonder she likes soda. (laughs) (laughs) 
So All it could right. pass. How many comments could pass? Oh, a good amount. A good amount. What is the? What do you call this? Is that Hala? This? Yeah. No, it's um. Marble Rye. No, oh, Bobka. No, Bobka. Bobka Goldweight. And then uh, <laughs> what are they? What's the try for there? That's a, a Hamantaschen. Hamantaschen. You want the story of that? Please. Okay. Didn't Glassman tell this story? Uh oh. What is it? Yeah. What is it? You guys there was a king. Have a Jew off. No, there was a king Achashverosh. And anyway, he 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 didn't like his queen. He was like, "Hey, bring in this queen. Hey, dance naked for my fucking friends here." And uh, and there she was like, "No." And he was like, "You're banished." Um, the story is she probably had herpes. Oh, herpes scars. She wanted to show them off to her to the fucking card game. Nice. Anyway, so he wanted to hunt for a new uh, a new queen. And this guy Mordechai, Morty, as it were, <laughs> told his niece he had one hot niece, and he was like um, Esther. Mm. And he goes, Esther, I want you to enter the competition for best queen. Ixnay on the une. Don't fucking say you're a Jew. Uh -huh. It's going to work against you. Okay. Anyway, smart move by a fucking smart manager. Mm -hmm. She hides it. She wins queen. He's like, you're the hot one. Let's fuck. So they fuck for a while, you know. Um, and then the king's right-hand man, Haman, mm. he wore this three-cornered hat. That'll come back. Yep, yep. And uh, he goes, hey, you know the Jews? And al was like, yeah. He goes, Can we, we should like kill them, right? And he's like, uh, uh, yeah, whatever. That's cool. And so... Then he's like, everyone's like, all right, by eating the, the king, you kill fucking Jews. And Jews, you can't fight back. And they're like, fuck, the law's the law. And so, and then, uh, then right then, Esther's like, hey, Akashver, King Akashver, I got some news for you. He's like, what is it, my love? She's like, I'm a fucking Jew. Oh, wow. shit. And he's like, what? Oh, you're going to hate this law. And, <laughs> and she goes, no, 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 I know about it. Can you change that law? And he goes, you can't change an edict of the king. Mm. And he goes, okay, well, then how about. Jews can fight back. And he goes, all right, good compromise. Hey. So the big win was we were allowed to defend ourselves. And at that point, the people were like, this isn't as fun. So they went and got hum on. They fucking strung him up. Hum Whoa. Three-cornered hat he always wore. So now. This is a tribute. Yeah, it's a tribute to the fucking who we hung. Whoa. Yeah, and then something in there is we got, I think, Akashverosh dead drunk or something. Mm. And so now we're supposed to get drunk on Purim. Oh, wait, that's Purim. Uh oh, that's a Halloween. Oh right? yeah, no, completely wrong story. Ah, jeez. <laughs> you should do a special about this. Can you hand me a hemoglobin? Yeah, let me, let me Wait, these aren't for Hanukkah, huh? Yeah, it's a poor thing. They're, they're, still, they're still good. All right, you're like oh. a cool rabbi. Yeah, there we go. Let me, let me grab one. Ooh, you you're ever, not interrupting me. I feel like who, a congressman. Who's got that old joke? Uh, I went into the uh, Jewish deli and I said, "How much does the challah cost?" Oh, that's pretty good. Al Franken? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's Big J, actually. Big J in the roast. He made me read it. That's a funny joke. Yeah. Holocaust. said we all missed that one. It was right there. So, uh, yeah, man. Hanukkah. What day of Hanukkah are we doing this on, by the way? Is this the last day? Eight crazy nights. Yeah, when is it exactly? Do you still celebrate it or no? No, but I'll Ooh. light up a menorah. If I'm, I'm going good. to a holiday party, it's fun to bring a menorah and you're mm. allowed. You know, regular fucking Christmas party. Look, guys, I got you. And then you're fucking, everyone left lighting it up. It's so fun and odd. How do you feel about Christmas songs in a bar like this time of year? Not loving them. Yeah. They're as not a Jew good or songs. As a, okay. Some so of them I, are good. I, some are, eh. Come yeah, on. yeah. Santa Claus is coming to town. And gonna be little, yeah. little, 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 little. Nah. Uh, the Waitresses is a good song. They have a good song. The Waitresses? Yeah. Oh, um. It's like I'm skipping Christmas tonight. Man, those are great. It's yeah, the, those are good it's cookies. The best song. Mm, mm, Which mm, is a Christmas mm. song. That's it. We got it. I was literally I was rapping. flying all day, and I was literally just thinking about when I could have a drink. Yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to blow the energy. You know. Thank you. I wanted some energy for this shit. Cheers, by the way. You Cheers. didn't have to. Congrats connect. on Ari Shafir Jew. Oh yeah. On uh, I don't know where it's going to be by the time this comes out. YouTube? But let's assume five million. Oh that'd be, yeah. That'd be very nice. Yeah. Welcome to the YouTube club. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, yeah, we're all in there. You guys fucking uh, broke down the barriers. <laughs> It'll be an 11 open million. Source, uh, I remember we'd have these long sidewalk conversations, Ari and I, where we'd be, I'd be like, YouTube, and Ari's like, yeah, 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 I think it's the move, like it's the future. You you were thinking about it like a while back. Yeah. We were like, maybe I'll put it on Rogan's YouTube. Maybe. <laughs> you, know, you were like, I don't, you didn't know, but now it's like you built up yours, and now yeah. it's, it makes the most sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm so stoked on it. So many people that, see it. Very good. Very yeah, good. Yeah, and it's niche. You're the only guy who could pull this niche off. If somebody else did a, sh a show about just Allah, 
yeah. or something. It wouldn't yeah. get four million. This It'd be point. on the FBI's most wanted. I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I try to make it funny. It that was bomb. what I wanted to do. Above Facts. all, get laughs. <laughs> yeah, and it did. Yeah, and it looked great with the candles. God. It looks so fucking good, right? And it I think did. it's at your your place. Roulette, right? Roulette. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Keep it's a, the it's a testimony to fucking how if you just do some set dressing, like things don't look the same. Oh, yeah. You can't really tell. Chris really Stefano looking. shot a special uh-huh. there. Gary Goldman. So Is many that people. Right? So, yeah, yeah. They all look so different. I went and scouted it and I was like, okay, have you ever done a special here? And they're like, those two, Sam Morello. I was like, Sam Mar- I was like, oh, I was at that. You were there. And oh, I didn't yeah. remember. I got a picture of you giving me the finger like two inches from my face in the uh, green room. Mm-hmm. It's a gem. That is a gem. <laughs> and that I was take great pictures night. too autistic. Yeah, dude. Look how pretty. I mean, what is that? Four thousand candles? Six thousand candles. Wow, almost six million. Almost. Getting there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um Mm-mm. yeah, it's, it's been really good. Have, have any prominent Jews reached out to you? Ooh. No, you would think somebody would. I'm waiting for Ben Shapiro to be like, "What's up, <laughs> Let's go if you want to yeah. go. <laughs> no one, no one. Uh, there's got to be someone. Woody Allen, prominent <laughs> just No, you would think it would come across their radar. It's only been out for three weeks. Yeah, yeah. Harvey's a calling. Har- right, Harvey, Harvey calls. Out. I'm taking that call. If Epstein were alive, do you coll- <laughs> co- collect call from yeah. penitentiary? <laughs> like, all right. Oh my god, I just watched a Jelaine Maxwell Netflix doc. Have you seen that? Is there, no. there's a doc on her already? Yeah, it's uh, or it's and like no Epstein same- doc. There is. It's the same one. Filthy Rich. This oh, is Hanukkah. okay. I've seen that. Hanukkah Gelt, baby. Hanukkah Gelt. The, the, the candy that's shaped like money. <laughs> the people who can't stop thinking about Not it. Not doing wonders for our stereotypes. Not really at all. Wait, it's called guilt? G- <laughs> all right. No, that's what they call it if you don't get it. <laughs> oh, so it's the same doc. Yeah. All right, It's all a right. new one, though. She got her own. That's oh, true. she got her own. Yeah, Julie Maxwell, Filthy Rich. Oh, they couldn't even put her on the cover. No, she, she got her own. Okay. All right, we get any side boob? She was she, she was a nice piece back in she her day. She was a dude. piece. Mm-hmm. She was a dime piece. Oh yeah, well she's a rich rich kid. Imagine going from dime piece side piece to just um, groomer. Yeah, yeah, bummer. It's fun. Yeah. That's how much she loved money. She couldn't she couldn't stand being poor, so she got just get this father figure. Some some girls Epstein. She's like, I mean, that, it goes to show how much the dad and and you know parents at all play a role. But like her dad was like Epstein, minus really? the pedophilia. Was he really? He was always fucking around the mom and a shitty guy. And yeah. and then she's like, I'll just attach myself to another guy like my dad. But he's like, well, this daddy has got some even weirder quirks. Nope. Yeah. I des- yeah, I describe pedophilia as a quirk. quirk yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was probably a misfire. But she was in on it. She was, uh, <laughs> she was in yeah, on she it. Yeah, she was scouting for it. Scouting, him. yeah. She was the front office. Right. Yeah, she, she was making the Republic moves. She was in the early days. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, she was hot in her day. Though. Don't don't love her eyebrows. Look at her with Trump and whoever the fuck that is foot with Trump. Massage, She's yeah. hot. Young Julian ain't giving oh, those yeah. foot massages on a on a. Who's jet that shoe? chick with Trump? Was that Melania? She's one of oh, the hottest chicks in history. She was something back then. She still looks good. I've seen her naked. Have you? Yeah, pull them up. Who Melania? <laughs> it's my wallpaper. Uh, but yeah, she was uh, like a cover girl for a hot minute yeah. and an escort, I believe. Remember, she was the first lady. Oh, Wasn't yeah. Wasn't that wild? Yeah, what? We Wait, that's Jose? That's Melania? Oh, yeah. That was like Debbie Harry. Yeah. Debbie Harry. She's no blonde. hair on her. Debbie Harry. Mm-hmm. Look at that. I mean, come on. That's the first lady, folks. Wow. What a country. What yeah. a cunt. Tree. <laughs> <laughs> Man. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. What do we do with, with Kedem? Men with Kedem grape juice. All right, so there's this there's this popular golf course drink called the Transfusion. It's just grape juice, ginger ale, and vodka. Okay. Right? So we made it Hanukkah, in, you know, in light of in light of special. no, in light of doesn't sound right at all. <laughs> well, we're lighting like the Monica. So, uh, the in honor of. In honor of. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, so it's uh, Kedem grape juice, uh, ginger ale, and our Bodega Cat uh, rye Whee! with a little bit of lemon, and uh, then you know a little uh, lemon with uh, brown sugar roasted. What is Kedem? Is that a Jew thing? It is. Oh. Jewish grape juice. It's a Jew juice thing. It's it's just a grape juice that's used. Grape juice. In Isn't a it lot funny? Of, in lieu of like red wine and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Well, Norman's cool. got that joke about uh, how like we're lucky we're not attracted to kids. Like when I was. Oh like, yeah. How's that oh, go yeah. again? Uh, when I was a kid, I like grape juice. Now I like red wine. <laughs> oh, uh, when I was a kid, I was attracted to young girls. Now I like older women. 
but I still like grape juice. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. That's been a while. But it's like, it's like, man, I think of that every time I see grape juice. Uh, <laughs> all right. You own grape juice. That's so great. When you see a bit, you like, can't juice. stop thinking about it. Every time I see a neck tattoo, I think of Todd Berry's bit. You forgot to not do that. <laughs> <laughs> so easy or Classic. so simple, but so funny. And then his voice, just like the sarcastic dick. Yeah. You know, not. Attell's got a million of those where you're like, oh, that's an Attell bit. Oh, man, I was watching Attell and Ian Fidance late. I was, it was Wednesday night of Thanksgiving, and I was just wasted. Liz and I were just pounding martinis. <laughs> I love and, Drunk Sam. And, and I was just in the doorway watching Attell and Ian, and I was just, it was like, you ever just like watch comedy? No, it's the it, best. We don't do it enough anymore, but yeah. I was dying, man. It's, and you just hope Dave doesn't see you because then he's going to bring your ass in. He saw me, and he was like, he goes, is that one okay, Sam? Yeah. Like, Come on, man. I just want to laugh. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm dying. You're I'm like, dying. yes, it is. Literally the quickest guy on the planet. I saw him talking to a lady the other night. He goes, you, ma'am, you like a vibrator? She goes, I just use my fingers. He goes, mmm. Acoustic. <laughs> <laughs> he said to Ian. He, go, he said to Ian. He goes, "Are you dating anyone?" He goes, "I just had a breakup." He goes, "I didn't know you could break up with a cat." <laughs> 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 That's so, so good, quick. so good. They have a great rapport. They They're do. so good. Yeah, together. they really do. What a combo, and they share cigarettes, which is cute. They share cigarettes? No, they have. The, I mean, they like packs. They don't oh, like pass oh. one back and forth. No, that would be weird. That would be weird. <laughs> hey, Dave, let me get a hit off that. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Jewish food, it gets a bad rep. I'm loving this shit. Jewish food's great. Yeah. Like, you, you know why we get a bad fat? Gefilte fish. The, it's all basically that's, that's all it is. And gross. guess what? Gefilte fish is kind of good. Come if put, on. If, if you put horseradish on if it. you put the horseradish, the red kind good. or it's the white jello. kind. It's just jello, right? It's, it's jell loaf. For, oh. it's, it's fish loaf instead of meatloaf. I love that this is so ingrained in who Ari and I are that we can't turn on gefilte fish. I mean, it's so it name. starts with gefilte fish and then it goes to kugel. You can't have it. We're the NRA. Oh, it looks like hell. Oh. I like it. I know. No, we're uh, going to get killed in the comments. They here. got me I that like, at Helium once and they're just like, we got you a thing of gefilte fish. And I was like, I'll play this place again. <laughs> oh, wow. He took it out of your pay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. No. Oh, look at the, that's the I mean, gross. That's the natural kind. You want the unnatural kind. That's right. the, it's, it's like its original peanut butter. Form. Peanut Dude. butter, you don't want the uh, you don't want that oil. I want the uh, give me the oil is too much. The oil's too much. The peanut butter oil is like get the fuck out of you here. You're gonna stir it like you're a wicked witch. Yeah. I didn't forget. What, what am I Amish? Give me the jiff. <laughs> that's what you want. The unnatural kind that you're that's slicing what? up. What? That's what it looks like. That's the better kind. I thought it was green for some reason. What do you think it was? I was picturing Lettuce? Jello. You ever eat like? And also, a lot of Jewy food is also like kind of that Ukrainian Russian type food. That, that I like. Soup. Borscht. It's great. Borscht. 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 What do you call those? Uh, Palermo. I gotta Palermo. Leave you guys a chulant sometime over this winter. I don't even know what that is. It's, a, it's an Eastern European Jewish stew. Pull it up. C H O L E N T. Let's call it that. Chulant. There we go. This Cholent. goes down. Oh right too yeah, hearty. baby. Ooh. I'm bringing it. It's hearty. Looks like a chili. Mm-hmm. Pierogi. That's what I'm thinking of. Slow cooked. Pierogies are great. Open so good. 15 hours. Wow. That does look good. It's like, like a slow cooker if you're not bombing anybody with it. It's like a pot roast. Damn, that looks so good. Oh, that's right up my alley. Especially in the winter, man. Yeah. Boy, that'll make you really shit. I kind of, oh, going back to the Christmas heavy. music. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucked. I kind of like a good, like, getting loaded in a bar with Christmas music Rocking playing. Rocking around. Why? You already Christmas feel like you're a tree. tourist? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You feel like you're passing through. <laughs> yeah. And then you go out and that cold wind hits you in yeah. the face. And like, oh, it's kind of It's kind of fun to drink. Like, also, you know what I love about the winter drinking is the warm Warm drinks. drinks. Dude, yes. we got to get on that. We got to get on Liz. Yeah. We got to get this either mold wine or hot cider. Hot cider's uh, big. It. Hot Mold toddy one. is underrated. Hot toddy is a killer. Hot toddy's underrated. Love it. That's what we should call Todd Berry from now on. <laughs> Hot toddy. <laughs> I've been getting on it for years. Make a fucking mold wine. Love she a mold. Do it. And you That'll smell it in the hell. distance. Smell it. Got the apple stick or mold whatever wine. that is mold in there. Mold wine is definitely the move. Cinnamon over, stick. Over a hot toddy, I would say. Mold wine really? is easy. Because it's easier to bash and easier to serve out to a lot of people. What is hot mold Hot toddy is like you're going to have to do it like individually. But yeah. you can just warm up something in the microwave or something. Yeah, I mean, you know, you have a kettle or whatever, but mold yeah. wine is just nicer. It's, it's hot sangria, effectively. It's hot sangria. So, like, like I don't know if I've ever had no, that. No, mold wine is delicious. It's good. It's good. It's really, really good. It will make me stop. If I see a sign outside a sandwich board that says mold wine, I'm going in. 100%. Damn. Yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, I agree and it warms you up. We got to do an so app with good. that. Well, we can absolutely do that. All right. Okay. 
Went it back over the summer. And then what is in a hot tub? That's whiskey. <laughs> whiskey, tea, uh, cinnamon. Um, it's for when you're sick. Usually cinnamon, uh, like cinnamon and other spices like cardamom. It's what alcoholics drink when they're sick. It's like yeah. Boston people. Like this will help you get better. <laughs> <laughs> Don't not drink. Dude, just speaking, get better. Speaking of Boston people, you ever, like I, I was in Fort Wayne over the weekend, and we're just watching movies in between the shows. So we, Dina had never seen the town, and I was like, oh, the town is so good. Such a fucking good movie. I love the it's town. It's so good. That's so fucking underrated. That movie. It's great. They, At, what do they take over Fenway? Yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, of like course. every scene, Affleck's rocking like a a brune shirt. Yeah, or like, yeah. I can wear my own stuff. <laughs> like, all right, <laughs> the movies you can wear your own shirt. No costume designer. Mm -hmm. There yeah. was a hot minute when like the ten year, nine year span where Boston was everything. It was like. It started with Goodwill Hunting and then started it went to the town. It was like townies. Departed. So cool. Departed. River. Gone, baby, gone. It was a lot it's of Boston. It's because writer, Dennis Lehane, they could just adapt like every one of his books into a movie. They just like fit perfectly right, in movies. Right, right. What's the one he did with that uh, chick from E.T.? They did a romantic Drew Barrymore? Comedy. Yeah. They did a romantic comedy. Oh, Fever Pitch. Fever Pitch. Another one. Boston. Another bean town. And then, and then they just won every championship in sports for like 15 years. Yeah, so that's like true. That. No one rooted for them. Oh, dude! This they had one Red Sox. Ass. Now Brady's gone. Oh, the cop! Can we play this? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> they let him go. He's oh. like, get out of here, man! Do we kill this guy? That's very realistic. I could see a cop just being like, "Ah, fuck it." Literally yeah, looking the literally way. looking the other way on the nose. Also, I, I the look... scene with the florist where he's cutting the rose. Oh, yeah, that's scary go. guy. That's the one that like really got me. Pete Postlewaite. Yeah. How does that guy live with himself? How about... Well, you I know, mean... he's like, fuck, I'm dead if I do anything. If I just... yeah. But also, they're gone now. Call, call it in. Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah, he made a deal with him. <laughs> he's honorable. <laughs> what about... Uh, fuck, <laughs> the, the, the classic, it's like such a cliche, but it's such a badass line where Affleck just walks in. He's like... I need you to beat up some guys with me. You can't ask me about it now. You can't ask me about it later. And uh, we're going to hurt some people. And, and Renner just goes, whose car are we taking? No! Oh! That's a badass oh! moment. Renner was I, butchered, I butchered the line, but it's... That's a friend. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It's badass as fuck. This is it. Oh, yeah, The Fighter was another one? The yeah. Town, that's... <laughs> yeah, you nailed it. This is his best role, Renner. Renner? This is before Marvel, right? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I did a commercial with him. You what? did a commercial with Jeremy my, Renner? My first commercial. He was, uh, he was, he, we did two Kia commercials. He was in the other one. We had to go to the Grand Canyon. What? We had to go to Monument Valley. Pull it up. <sighs> wow. It's up there. But yeah, he did the other one. Is that it? There he That's is. The other one. I was friends with that girl. I feel like Ari's about to get cut out. Is that this is that the one I was Moynihan? in? This is the other one, but this is the one he was in. Why wow, so young? That girl was so hot. I was friends. She with looks her. like uh, Jewish Bronovich or the Miss Maisel. Uh, uh, maybe not. Was he reading the manual? Wow. Oh, uh, here we go. Be that, but no, that's Jeremy Renner's. I'm in a different one. Oh, I thought you said you were in it with him. We both we shot. He shot that one. I shot mine the same day. Uh, we were out there together. He said he had just done this movie. They wouldn't release it yet called Dahmer. Whoa, he said really? It's an independent movie. Won all these independent spirit awards. But he goes, they won't release it. I'm on fucking SAG. They're helping me out with my rent because I can't pay my fucking rent. This movie is kind of come out. I don't know. I might do something. Then yeah. he won all these awards. And then boom, boom, boom. I didn't realize wow. he was in a Dahmer movie. I didn't either. Cool guy. This is uh Oh, that was Ari. Yeah. Oh, that was the old Ari. <laughs> Let me see. He had the hair and the beard. Hey! Oh my god. Now is this after Amazing Racist? Yeah, right at the same time. Man, you had a moment. Yeah, this is after. Good to have you back. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's like the Ari that would have been a rabbi. That yes. Was, yeah, I was shortly out from that. I couldn't feel so how to put it in both worlds. Now, where are we at on pay? Because they commercials used to pay. Dude, that Kia commercial, it's not up there, I guess. But like, but like, it, it gave me like 20 or 40 grand over wow. like a two-year period, which is like, you know, you get making nothing. The taxes on the shoot were the, were the biggest check I've ever seen. How was the audition? Easy. I just got out of my car and yelled, my fake car, uh -huh. yelled, and they're like, come to Monument Valley. Look at that. Well, you had a look. I had a look. That's most of it. Can you pull up? Me in a Toyota commercial? No way. Yeah, yeah. Is this yeah. a Comedy Central thing? Yeah. I remember this. I, I think I made, you know, six grand on this, but still. I remember you got that. I was like, whoa. It was huge. They closed down Brooklyn Bridge. I got to drive across it with a big, uh... oh, this is it. How did you find this? Salamanca. He's good. 
Comedy Central brings you on the road. Kalkanane. Look how young. I was fresh-faced. There's me working on bits fakely. In a place you can't afford. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. This is me. The whole gag is I'm driving around and I see shit. I'm like, that's a bit. Like you would never be able to drive in New York. That's an L.A. thing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Old New York Comedy Club, too. Yeah. That took two days. Wow. That was really? a nightmare. Yeah, it was a nightmare. What was that Doritos one? I don't remember Doritos one. You oh, did you did a Doritos, Doritos commercial? I don't remember doing that's a Doritos a big commercial. Ad. All right. Oh. Oh, I remember this. That's your favorite. I'm talking about throwing a party. Maybe you go to somebody at a party. I was doing fake commercials to cover up for the fucking <laughs> drug sponsors I'd always have. <laughs> <laughs> I can't put that on YouTube. I'm kind of loving these sweatshirts right now. Oh, not man. Not bad at all. Right. Kind of good. Matt, Peters, Matt Peters bringing the heat. Yeah. Every Pete week. Mobile. Should we light the menorah and say the prayer? Ooh, we'll do that later. I want to hear it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be all over the place, but I know the words. I just don't know the order. Now, here's the quote. Would, would the defamation league go after you guys if you said an offensive joke, or is that okay? No, they've gone after me. I was in the Simon oh, Wiesenthal have. Center for um, hate speech once. Whoa. Yeah, amazing racist. Really? Yeah. Wait, there's you, a center you, for hate speech? How do I get tickets? <laughs> you got it. Let the, let the shamish first. You did it right. Wait, all right. Now, do the prayer. I got to know it. Wait, 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 wait. You got to say the prayer first, then you light it up. You got, you got it? Baruch atah Adonai. Whoa! Is this right? Yeah, yeah, so far. Oh, Hanu Melech Alam. No, this isn't right. This is the long one. <laughs> yeah. Look it up. Like we would know. Hadlik Nesha Chanukah? Yeah, that's the ending. Yeah, there's something else, though. Hava, Hava Nagila. You couldn't even get the right two words. Ah. Hold, on. hold on, hold on, I'll get it. No, it's Baruch at Baruch This is adorable. Adonai, El Hanu Melech Alam. I don't, it's I don't, a beautiful you know, bring language. It up, bring it up. Bring it up. <laughs> I, I'm a <laughs> shitty Jew, guys. I'm sorry. Well, you're doing pretty good. It's been this a long time all... for me. Don't Bar forget Bar to watch my Adonai. special on YouTube right yes. now. Yes. Eloheinu melech alam, asher kedishana ba mitzvah v'tzivan l'kleh. The Hadlik Neshech Hanukkah. Wow. Hey. Suck it, Kanye. <laughs> yeah, there we go. You light up for How do you remember right? that? It's just, just sounds. No, mixing up the order there. Uh, Ouch, you missed the uh... Five million, that's for my hits. <laughs> that's my hits on YouTube. You got to do a party for six million. This one's for the Jews that died. We're even now, guys. Yes, Seven yes. Seven is for the days we have to give before we evict you. And half a candle for Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> and eight is how long the Jewish chicks' periods are. All right. <laughs> Great blowjobs from Jewish chicks. Shell Hanukkah. Oh, there we go. Really Here's why this is not real. Because a chick singing it. Not in my community. <laughs> it's messed up, bro. <laughs> oh, I had a great moment on my Connect flight today where... Uh, you know that you do. They have to gate check all the uh, bags, like oh, the pink yeah. tags. Yeah. And you're in that little thing where they they pull down the thing. And they have to lift it all the way up. You either get it handed to you the bag, or you get the thing. They have to pull up like the garage door. Yes. This woman was. We're all freaking out because it's Atlanta. We're trying to make our connection. All of us. And it's all these fucking Midwestern people who are too polite to say anything. Thank God they got a New Yorker there. Uh, but all the people there, like the woman's like, I can't get it open. They're like all like, ha, ha, ha. But I was like, lady, we got fucking connections. Yes. Come on. And she was like, okay, I'll call help. And she called help. It's two other women with like long fingernails. I'm like, yeah, this is going to help. Uh, <laughs> they come. They can't figure it out. 20 minutes of this where I'm like I might miss my connection because they can't figure out how to open a door a thing that they've used multiple times it's not wow. but it's Their janky job. it's a jank. it's like from the 80s we were talking yeah, about this I've so then, seen those so then they call a guy I shit you not a guy shows up in a hat kicks it it just opens <laughs> Fonzie <laughs> showed up <laughs> yeah. I was like come on and you, you want to vote <laughs> and I'm like guess what if the New Yorker doesn't snap we don't make our flights. Yeah. There's a place for politeness. Yeah. That's true. That's, it ain't there. That's a good sketch. A New Yorker in certain areas getting where you done. need them. Getting we need shit a New done. Yorker. Yeah. Whoever yeah. you are, it's like, fuck, we're not getting anything done. And you need us to drive you somewhere, and we're like, yeah, we're yeah. fine. Yeah. Alec I Baldwin can't. shows up. He's like, poof, poof. all right, <laughs> yeah. I'm out of here. Some tuk tuk drivers trying to shake it down for some extra <laughs> yeah. Thailand bot. And you're Call like, oh, I don't know. New Yorker's like, well, I know the price. You've got to be out here. We're good at confrontation. Yeah. Yeah. One of our only skills. It's because there aren't guns in the city I still, oh. 
That's why we're good at confrontation. That's a bit. Yeah. That's true. I, I do have a bit like oh. along those lines, but that's not the bit. But but it's true. That's why we are good at confrontation. Yes. Interesting. So remember some fucking lady, me, Norman, and List seeing an awful Casey Affleck movie about a ghost. Casey Affleck. Oh, movie that was it. Spent ninety five percent of the movie in a uh, an actual sheet. It was so bad. It was uh, trying try, try to be artsy, old. pretentious, brutal. The worst. One hundred percent of Rotten Tomatoes. What? No, yeah. no, it's pretty, not. Pretty high up. Pretty high. Casey Affleck is a ghost, and Rooney's in it. That girl, Mara Rooney. Rooney Mara. Rooney Mara. Rooney. Is it Rooney Mara? Yeah, a ghost story. Yeah. Look at him. look at him. Her He's in a fucking ghost giants. outfit. Whoa! I didn't know that. That's him. That's, That's Casey Affleck. Way to use your actor. It, it looks like a parody. Salacuse could have done this role. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so bad. Sundance. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. This must have been the cheapest movie to shoot of all time. 5.2 million views. Wow. For this trailer, A24 is a little bit on their own dick. Oh, yeah. They're oh, a little yeah. bit like, you know like, when they throw up the, an A24 film, you could just feel them being like, yeah, yeah. We we're fucking A24, dude. That's exactly. right. We'll do whatever we want. But anyway, we're walking, strolling, eating some ice cream, and some lady's like, ugh. Like, yeah, she's trying to get by us. You remember this lady? Oh, yeah. And, and, and somebody, one of us was like, what's her problem? <laughs> we were all like, she's going to die soon. She's going to fucking rush, this fucking bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> it was just like, ah, why did I pick on comics? Yeah, we're trying to make a movie here, sister. <laughs> yeah, that movie stuck. I remember I stole a bunch of beef jerky. Stole beef jerky. He took the highest level priced item. I turned. You, you bought some popcorn. Five finger discount. They, they serve beef jerky? What's well, one of these high end High theaters. end. 824 type theater. And we were the only people in there, by the way. Yeah, sushi turned for my popcorn. Snitchy snitch. Yeah. <laughs> there, used to, there used to be a theater on the Upper West Side. It was like 61st Street or something, and they had cashews. And it's like, you know you're getting some good movies yeah. when they're serving cashews. You're a high-level nut. <laughs> you, know, you know you're getting a fucking foreign or a Woody, a Woody Allen film. Right, If right. you're doing salted nuts at the concessions. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting a nice snack. The Angelica used to serve quiche. No joke. No, I remember I swear that. to God. Yeah, yeah. I, they might still do that. They might still. Yeah. Yeah, I went there on a hot date in 2007. The quiche was the hot part. Yeah, it was warm. <laughs> did you score? I think I did. What did you say? <laughs> uh, Juno. Oh, All good right. movie. Yeah, yeah fun. So that's a winner. Jason Reitman's got some fucking winners. Oh, Jason yeah. Jason Reitman? Yeah. Wow. He's good. Thank the, you for smoking. Up in the air. Oh, yeah. He's got some bangers, dude. Mm. Hey, what is it? Ivan? Ivan just passed away. He did? He did. Of what? I don't know. It was sudden. He was like Smoking. 75. I met him one. I met Ivan. Uh, I did like, I met with this company a long time ago. He was, he was a nice guy. Wow. Jason Ryan uh, always came to the belly room. One belly room show. That's right. Either Roast Battle, Battle or Ding Dong Show. Roast Battle. Roast Battle. Yeah. yeah. Cool guy. Yeah, he's a fucking great director. Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan's a legend. I mean, oh, Ghostbusters, yeah. Stripes. That guy made right. so many class. If there was, if there was a good comedy with titties in the eighties, that guy yes. made it. Yes, he yeah. really used a titty. He did. Yeah, he really used one. It was pre-porn. Yeah, pre-internet porn. A tit was a big deal. Yeah, it's, it wasn't skating by it. He was letting you see it. It's funny because a tit still hits. Like I was on a, you know, we see tits all day long. You, you put your fucking Instagram. They almost show tits. Twitter has tits. But I was on an airplane, and I could see like eight screens over, a boob was on the screen. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I could have put it on mine, but the fact that it was on someone else's was so hot. Yeah, it's a more forbidden tit. Yes, yes. Yeah, you're, it's, a, it's a voyeur tit. <laughs> yeah. And it's a public place, too. It's a show me. Uh, it's also a voyeur, voyeur on voyeur. Yeah. It's like meta. Uh -huh. It's like a meta tit. Yeah, meta tit. Meta tits are the best tits. <laughs> yeah, there, there was something about He directed the, Isla and the Tigress of Siberia? Oh, okay. He produced. He produced Eyes He also yeah. made yeah. Todd Phillips' <laughs> career. Really? He produced. He found Todd Phillips. Where did he find him? Because he was Todd. F <laughs> he did. No, I mean, he found him. And he, like, I think he produced Road Trip, which was his first big Whoa. movie. Whoa. Do you think your presence in Joker <laughs> put Todd Phillips <laughs> over? <laughs> yeah, I think he was teetering on the edge. And yeah. I, I definitely, yeah. I definitely helped. I've yeah. heard that theory before. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the Marilla effect. Oh, look at that pic. <laughs> <laughs> fuck me. Ugh, fuck. I hate my, You ever just see a picture of yourself and you're like, fucking kill me. Oh, yeah. Sam Marill on his role. In, who? In, who? Yeah, that's a YouTube for you. Sam's mom cut this. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Oh, me? you can hear it. Yeah. 
No, but Todd, if you if you, it's joke? a musical, yeah. I can, I have got pipes. <laughs> you need someone to sing "Luck Be a Lady." I'm your guy. It's a musical. Huh? Luck be a lady tonight. <laughs> <laughs> they call you Lady Luck. <laughs> is that most is luck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're doing the Muppets movie, Sam is there for you. Dude, you got that Muppet Babies theme song's been in my head long and hard. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe no Jews have reached out because this is like your great PR, right? I'm a little upset that no Jews. I've been None? off the grid for the last ten days. You, that's the problem. Out that's gone. people have reached out and you haven't checked your Instagram. Yeah, maybe I'll ask Kyla. Any we Jews got, reach out because also she's like, I don't know, they all look like Jews to me. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got lucky because we got Ari a day before he's going to disappear to Thailand or wherever the fuck he goes <laughs> for three months. <laughs> for some, South he's going to be gone like Rambo or something, where some general has to find him in a hut. Well, except comes instead out, of a general, it's a, <laughs> instead of a general, it's an assistant from CAA who has to knock at the door. Ari's meditating. <laughs> Ari, we have a gig for you. You're going <laughs> to Beacon. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. This was a banger Classic. in my day, dude. <laughs> now, do you have the thing where, because you did a special a couple months ago, you just had one out now. Yeah, yeah right now. And now you got to go, you're going to sell some tickets yeah. off the back of this thing. You got to have a new, you got to have a new shit. I was very lucky this time because the Lakers came after me pretty hard. Huh? So I had to stop doing this hour for a little while. Oh, and I already worked on another hour. Right. Plus, it's so so long building this one. All my leftover material, all the shit that was Wait, like what, by the Lakers. Do you, who do you mean? Blacks <laughs> very... from L.A. Because <laughs> <laughs> I just picture like you know John Sally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the pipe, you know. <laughs> Red yeah. Fox and early Vlade. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I had all, plus I had leftover material, like any like a uh, weird like oh, I got a dog. It's like it doesn't fit in the Jew hour, but like I would still do bits about it. So I had like right. leftover jokes. I was already ready to go. Ah, uh-huh. so that was no problem. And I'll talk to Schultz about it. It is annoying. You finish especially like oh fuck. That's why he's in Fort Wayne. Well, you built. I I've, I've got like a new fifty that's passable. I can get by with like fifty. 50. Well, it's not like special worthy, but I can get by. It's with It's sellable it. worthy. Yeah, it's yeah. It's, right. it's getting laughs. You can you can you can morally charge a crowd for this. Yeah, they're, they're, it's hitting all the way through. It just needs it needs to be better to put be put in a special. So I'm I'm gonna take a t- my time with this next one. Yeah, yeah. You I'm know what sure. I'm gonna do? Because I did it this time where I stopped whatever, put it away, went on fucking holiday for you know COVID and then whatever else, and then did other material. And then was like, all right, let me try to do this fucking special. So then I started doing it again for eight months or so. But then when I left it for like a year, and I was like, damn, I could t- fucking tighten all these bits. I saw it like fresh again. Mm. You know, you guys are better joke writers than I am, but like, but like I could see it from the outside going, like, damn, that's too long a setup. These two jokes are almost mm. exactly the same. Right. What's that's- your process with that when you listen to bits? Like how do you how do you cut the fat and how do you like I have trouble with it cutting the fat. Yeah. I'm like this is good, this is great, this is great, this is good. I'm like, well, good and better. I want to keep it, in, but you gotta be like, nah, the good's not right. that good. But yeah, you- sometimes there's a line for you. That's the problem though. Sometimes there's a line for you that like you want to walk that line between being indulgent because there's bits where like I'm like almost cut and it turns out to be someone's favorite line. Well, yeah. Uh, when but- I was doing this not happening editing, we I was like you know showed the comics like like I, the comic section wouldn't let me, but I just did it anyway. But I was like, hey, what do you Tell me your notes on this. I'll pretend like they're my notes. And so I sent one to Mark, and I was like, I'm going to cut this line, this line. Tell me what you think. And Mark's like, no, no, no. That's like a catchphrase of mine. I want to keep that in. Oh, yeah. And so I was like, okay. Like, I would never have known you tried that. tried to cut comedy? Yeah, I think something like that. Where he's yeah. like, comedy. I'm like, that's a weird tick. Uh, I don't know what that was. I didn't get a laugh. But, yeah. you know, out of all the shows we've done, no one more hands-on with the editing yeah. than you. That yeah. was pretty great. I don't know if you guys and saw. And you fall for comics fucking oh, hard. Oh, yeah. Was, like, I mean, the Doug Smith set, which I think is like oh, an all-timer. Oh, my God, what a, a banger. An all-timer. Him that's and Louis Katz, too. Yeah. Yeah. I had to go down to the New York Comic Club so many times to watch Doug do that. Uh, he was, I was like, hold on. I got 10 minutes. I'll go, go watch it. Who's doing that, by the way? That's yeah. insane. That's very cool. <laughs> yeah. Like, What's uh, your show? I mean, you wanted, you took pride in your show. I think that's yeah. how it yes. should be. Came with another way to lie to get New York Comics in. Be like, we don't have the money to fly people in. It's first class, and we have to put them in a hotel. We just don't have the budget for that. And I was like, what if they were just here randomly? They're like, well, then we can book up as locals. I'm like... I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. He made it happen. I booked Norman that way. I booked Big J that way. I booked Norman that way. And then Norman's agent called and was like, hey, wh- where's this offer? What about the hotel? What about what about the, the, the flight? And I was like, 
talk to your client. <laughs> I think he's going to be in L.A. anyway. Yes. I stayed on some gal's couch. Yeah, I was I'm plowing. Like, Dude, you can get here. I can get you on, but I can't get you here. Yeah. <laughs> That's what the offer said. Mark's, Mark's, uh, Mark's plowing. He's plowing this shit. <laughs> it's, it's, it's plow contingent. I hooked up, with, hooked up with your makeup lady, by the way, on that show. You hooked up with her? Yeah, yeah. I remember. Damn. Oh, yeah. Old blonde. Did she regret it once the makeup came off? <laughs> the blackface. Did you hook up with one of the strippers there? Huh? Did you hook up with one of the strippers? I got there? a number, but it was, uh, uh, I called it, was, it went, boo doo doo. Like, <laughs> this is <been> disconnected. <laughs> it was a payphone at the LAX. seven digit number yeah. here. What the hell? <laughs> That's but, the right yeah. amount of digits. Hook, uh, hookers, uh, strippers and comics, we have a, a kinship. Mm -hmm. I feel we like. do, yeah. There's a weird, I mean, there's something about, like, you know, putting yourself in front of people. Right. Vulnerable. It's going to be rough. Bad There's, childhood. Yeah. yeah. Parents are disappointed in you. Yeah. The good shows is bad shows. Although comics can turn it around at some comics point. Comics can turn it around. The higher hard. up you get in the strip world, it could get worse. worse it is. True. Yeah. You don't want to be a world-renowned stripper. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess that's kind of the goal. I guess. Yeah, but, I guess so. But it's not going to turn around. I think it's comics it's almost like PIs, like those old books. Right. Comics are like fucking... Uh, Waiting for the phone to ring. Right. Yep. Weird hours. You're going to weird places. You're yep. waiting on a check to clear. It's <laughs> almost like more of like a PI situation. <laughs> Hungover, pizza boxes. Yeah, you, you go to a diner. Paid. Somebody follows you to your car to yeah. fucking beat you up. Yeah. 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 Free days. <laughs> you made a vinyl for same time tomorrow? I didn't make it. Someone sent it in. Someone made it? Or just uh, no, we get this is on? all stuff from our listeners. We don't I don't Oh, never... that's that's not a working vinyl. No. Oh, I don't know that I think. I made a vinyl for Out to Lunch and they sold like hotcakes. Yeah, I gotta make a vinyl for Jew. I can give you guys the info. It do that. You got it. <laughs> I didn't do a, a. I just promoted it. the The company ships it. You, they give you the money. Huh. I love that. Out to Lunch All album. I was the money part. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh god, I don't know yeah, what that is. is. Twenty five dollars. Vinyls are the best buy for if you're going to see a band. Best value buy. Hmm. They're like twenty five, thirty bucks. Same price as a t shirt. Oh. Keep vinyl for fucking ever. You Do you sell t-shirts on the road, Ari? No, nah, I used to. I just I need like thirty minutes to calm down after I get off stage. I know what you mean. What about like? Didn't you used to sell those weed grinders? That yeah. was a great for your fan base. It was a great. It was per. Yeah, Ed Brook was like, well, "Why don't you sell some weed?" Really, I told him a story of me in Toronto before I was famous, but like an occasional recognized. And someone's like, are you Ari Shafir? And I was like, yeah. He goes, can I smoke a joint with you? And I'm like, have you got one? And he's like, let's do it. Smoke three hits. And he's like, keep it. Let's go. And oh. I, told, I told Edbrook that. He goes, you got to start selling some weed shit. Yeah. He's a fucking hilarious agent. Yeah. Uh, he is the best. <laughs> you got to lean guy. into this drug yeah. shit. <laughs> he's the least agent agent I've he ever met. Very Justin's very cool. He's a good dude. Hey, he was telling me once, I was I was like getting, I don't know, I was like flying with weed. He goes, Ari, if you get caught with weed and you miss your fucking gigs in Minneapolis, this is a long time ago, he goes, it's going to hold you back. No one's going to want to book you if you suddenly get an arrest and can't do a fucking show. It's not good for your career. I was like, what if I get like big, like Doug Benson, like, won't it eventually help me? He goes, we'll get to that stage when we get to <laughs> And then at some point, like years later, I was like, hey, man, if I get arrested for weed now. It'd be cool. Like it would help my draw, right? He goes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you think the Kobe thing? Obviously, the the initial shock was bad, but yeah. do you think it kind of helped a little in the end? Because it, it was a huge splash. Yeah, yeah. When I got when I got during COVID, I think these black kids were like, "Hey, Ari," and I was like, "Uh oh." It's like this is like twenty four year olds like, "Hey, can we get a picture?" And I was like, <laughs> "Okay," and they're like, "Kobe." And then I was like, oh, I think I'm the guy who they trust goes for it. Oh, Doesn't worry about yeah. his own safety. That's funny you say that because I remember hanging out with Gillis after that whole thing happened. And all these Asian guys were like, we got to get a photo. And yeah. they just love sending that photo my of old, him. My old roommate, Dory, Asian guy, fucking loves Gillis. There yeah. you go. He goes, I think he's my favorite comic. Ah. And, I, and I saw him go over Gillis and tell him. I could see Gillis like turn to me and like. <laughs> I, I remember when Ari after the Kobe thing we were at the stand and Ari, and I was like I'm going to the cellar and Ari's like I'll go with you and I was like walk take ahead. a cab <laughs> <laughs> like taxi everybody was so worried I don't want to walk this with Ari <laughs> Sam's, uh, Sam's reaction was, was one of the best Norman went hard on me towards for me but like um but Sam, I remember, they came out their comics like 
<laughs> disown Ari. It right, was so right. weird. And you're like, what do you think about Ari? And he goes, oh, he's consistent. <laughs> <laughs> he's just pretty much well, like, I love Ari. <laughs> I'm not getting involved with this. I don't know. He's hated the Lakers for a while. I love Kobe. <laughs> I was a basketball fan, but Ari's my actual friend. <laughs> uh, you know. it's, it's great. Those are portals. I, I was opening for Hannibal after the Cosby thing broke, and he was like, no. No, enough. Wow, leave me alone. Wow. It's too much. Wow. Like, we'll give you ten grand for five minute interviews. Like, no, leave me alone. Wow. For the women said the Cosby too. <laughs> you didn't listen. Yeah. Ten grand, leave me alone. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah. they they went on it. Yeah, I think overall, like it increased my fucking who I am. Damn, that's a pretty good D you got there. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. You wanna feel me up? What are you doing? Yeah, what is that? Oh, there oh, we go. Yeah. Wow, that oh, feels all right. right. Come just Dude, dip that. your face in it for a sec. Let's see what Oh yeah. Wait, yeah. give me motorboat. Give me that one. Motorboat? <laughs> for your age, they feel great. <laughs> look at that. Damn, Ari, look at that. Look oh, at I just him. passed out of the bar, no big deal. Oh, what? Oh, oh my God. God. I don't want Oh yeah, I don't <laughs> oh, mind it. Man, that brought me right back to my childhood. <laughs> this is this is this is Mark's mom. <laughs> <laughs> I actually met her. It's nothing like that. No, no, she's lovely, she's lovely parents. The yeah. wedding was so great. I'm oh. sure you talked about it. Oh, we yeah, did. We, we don't. We, I mean, it. that gas station, Ari. Uh, we were oh, at. the Stavros uh, fucking Maril Shafir disgust out. By the way, we're eating. We're eating all this fried food in the hotel lobby, and Ari just dips. He made us feel so fucking cheap. He, <laughs> well, I didn't want you to dip before I dipped. <laughs> well, well, we were staying upstairs. I dip, you but, dip, we dip. But Ari just fucking finishes his hero, and he just runs away. And we're like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> I, I felt like Uber he just with, nutted in us called, and ran out. <laughs> I called an Uber six bites out. I was like, "It'll be a right at the right time." And then it was like, "I don't finish by." Was it any good? <laughs> It was great. It was uh, great, but it was disgusting. I mean, it was like great, disgusting. We were eating fried seafood, but if you're going to do that, do it in a New Orleans gas station. Yeah. Me and Sam got the split skis, like a fucking boyfriend-girlfriend combo. That was hot. We looked at each other. We both knew it. Who would be the first to break the silence? I yeah. want to know hey, what guest. Because we couldn't decide, one. and then it's, it is good when you can split with a friend. Yeah, Sam, I'm going to throw something out to you, and you're yeah. like, I'm already ahead of you. And yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yes. <laughs> we couldn't decide between fried oysters and soft-shell crab, and I was like, what if we split? And then Stav is like literally calling the drink. He, what did he, he was calling us rookies? What did he order? He ordered the thing to get that wasn't on the menu. Fried, uh, fried, fried catfish. Uh, and he was he. Were you on the? Flight he waited back? till thirty. Should have ordered first. What? He got like a po' boy to go. Uh, he got like he, on the flight back. He had to just finish another po' boy. Liz from the cellar sees him covered in mayonnaise. <laughs> what? You're disgusting. If that guy doesn't be careful, he's gonna get fat. <laughs> <laughs> I like to picture Stavros walking in and going. The guy's like, free catfish? I know you. I've heard. The line. <laughs> He's like Norm and cheers. The highlight yeah. was when I when I was fucking wrecked, just saying, man, imagine eating this shit sober and stuff goes, I haven't had one drink. Oh, man. <laughs> he can hang. I mean, for he can a, hang. What a fun hang. When you're He's sober and everybody's drunk, it's hard, but he, he doesn't budge. He doesn't flinch. He doesn't. Right. He's not like worried about it at all. It Does sucks it? to be with a shaky, sober alcoholic. Yes. Those are no fun. Yes. And they're judging. You gotta be able to spit wine in someone's face. Yeah. No, we definitely. That was a fun wedding. That was yeah. It was a fun was, hang with you guys. That was mad fun. I mean, and that second night too. I mean, uh, shit. Oh, I, there's yeah. a great picture of Ari and Stav, where Ari just looks fucking. Oh, gone. that's a, that was my, <laughs> that's a classic. That's the closer on my uh, dude May. So we get to the bar after beautiful. the wedding. Look at it. Oh yeah. We get to the bar after the wedding, whatever bar that was. Our bar. Our bar. Yeah. May and her friends. Rooms. It was also Thank very you. interesting because there's two separate um, ages yeah. of comedy at that wedding. Yeah, it's a bunch of headliners and a bunch of openers. Yeah, so it's like, oh, uh, hey. like, like or I, I, just, I don't know. I know everybody or know some of them. Anyway, so May and her openers, they're like, Ari, Ari, come here, come here. And I'm, I mean, fucked up. And uh, and she goes, uh, and she goes, uh, hey, we have these mushroom chocolate bars. Can you uh, pass these out? Oh, that's fun. I was like, okay. There it is. It, oh, that's, yeah. That was, was my oh closer my on the reel. <laughs> that looks like the cover of like a buddy comedy. Yes. <laughs> that's like the new Harold and Kumar, but uh, <laughs> Ari and Stav. Yeah. Uh, right. Uh, it looks Ari like and Stav go to Po' Boy Central or something. It's two uh, New Orleans detectives. <laughs> <laughs> we got Mardi Gras and Boudin. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that left eye is left. Oh, yeah. Good times. Wait, what was I talking about That's here? Tom is so fucking fun. Oh, yeah. He really is. He's just the best. <laughs> he He's looks so like a good. chef. 
All right. So oh, what you oh. saying? So she gives me this chocolate bar, four big chocolate bars. And oh, I was yeah. like, all right, hand them out. So I just find one guy. I go, <laughs> the fucking glass. <laughs> You're doing a line off his cock. I'm literally like about to stop stuffing your head down. I'm trying to stuff it down with him. <laughs> Hanley making his 10 minute appearance. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? What a diva. I handed one chocolate bar to one guy, found somebody else, like, hey, ch- mushroom chocolate bar? Sure. Then to a third guy. And then one of May's friends, like, oh, no, no, break it up. Yeah, uh-huh. pieces. And yes. I'm like, I'm already on mushrooms. Why did you hand? Wow. Why did you give me this responsibility? Well, you're the shaman. I guess so, but fucking talk to me. I yesterday. do. Tr- you are kind of weirdly trustworthy with shit like that. As, as I'm, nineteen out of twenty times the perfect doser. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the twenties was, was Bert. <laughs> yeah. Brad. <laughs> and I will say, I got the right amount in him. <laughs> I saw Bert then. I can vouch. She had a fucking ball. Yeah. He was having a great time. He was having a great time. Yeah, he was fun. I mean, I didn't know he had dinner with his kids and had a flight at 6 a.m., but he had a great time. Yeah. Or he had a heart problem. going to serve you all the drinks with napkins on top, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> that was enough. You had a good domino of uh, scandalous shit yeah, go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you cleaned it up, it seems. I cleaned it up. I'm all Hanukkah. I'm a Jew. A Jew. I rediscover religion. Watch my special, Ari Shafir Jew, on YouTube right yes. now. Get Hell on yeah. there. But people don't realize there's a dark side. You know, you're you're the fun guy. You're the go for guy you're the dosy guy dosy doe these are all the fun i like these are the fun sides yeah but <laughs> yeah. but there is the guilt where people go what are you crazy and you have to go am i and they go are oh, you yeah. a bad person you go am i so it's like we say with hemingway sure he was a fist fighting whiskey slurping gun toting but booze bag, he shot himself but i'm sure he was had some mornings where he's like ah, i gotta clean it up i get anxiety i yeah. get hangover anxiety like a mother dude i did sober october and i've never felt less anxiety Really? I was like, dude, I'm free. I thought it was the weed. I talked to Bert though, and he was like, no, I, I don't, I feel nothing too. Whoa. It might be the booze. Booze is bad. Booze yeah. is great. Though. Who would have thought that alcohol is Bert's problem? That's crazy. <laughs> That's, I thought it was shirts. Who would have thought? <laughs> no, it's. I get hangover anxiety. I get it before I go to bed. Like I definitely had a few too many last night because I, you know, I'm in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and yeah. it's Sunday. Uh, what do you want weekend? from me? Going you know? to bed before flight? No way. I had a, I had a Watch bunch of glasses highlights. of wine in the green room, and I'm like, you know, I'm fucking. And then I'm up late at night, like fuck. I'm anxious. Yeah, oh. I get that. How was the video? Hey, folks, when you want a smooth high that you know is made right here in the U.S. of A., look no further than Ounce of Hope, based out of Memphis, Tennessee. Ow. Ounce of Hope is your one-stop shop for Delta Eight, Delta Nine, and CBD edibles, oils, and more. I use this stuff every night, literally, to go to sleep. I love it. It's not too high. You don't want to go into some edible coma where you can't see straight you don't know when you're gonna die and you're panicking anytime the phone rings this stuff is just the right amount it's just perfect it helps me sleep better harnessing the power of aquaponics ounce of hope is the farm to table brand for getting high aquaponics combines fish and plant farming so all the nutrients released by the fish make an extremely healthy plant oh you're getting high thanks to fish shit visit ounceofhope.com and use Drunk for twenty percent off your first order. That's O U N C E O F H O P E dot com with promo code Drunk and start saving on the best Delta Eight and Delta Nine products. Here it is. Get on it. We might be drunk is brought to you by Bespoke Posts. Box of Awesome is easy to remember because every time you open one, you just think awesome. Bespoke Post partners with small businesses and emerging brands to bring you the most unique goods every month. From cozy essentials to cocktail kits, Box of Awesome has everything you need for winter. We love these guys. They're sending over a cast box. We got it right here. Whoa! Personal sized aging barrel for your favorite cocktail. Holy, look at that beer, Jew. Wow! We can make our own stuff. If only we had our own whiskey. Just take the quiz at boxofawesome.com and they'll pick the right box of awesome for you. You only pay a fraction of what these boxes are worth, plus 90% of everything in your box is from a small up and coming brand like Bodega Cat. And bubble wrap. Ooh, you can't go wrong. It's free to sign up and you can skip a month or cancel any time. Get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code DRUNK at checkout. Never fails. That's boxofawesome.com, code DRUNK for 20% off your first box. Boxofawesome.com, promo code DRUNK.
to We Might Be Drunk is brought to you by Rocket Money. Most Americans think they spend about $80 a month on subscriptions when the actual total cost is closer to 200 clams. You could be wasting $100 each month on subscriptions you don't even know about. That's why we love Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. The app shows all your subscriptions in one place and cancels whatever ones you don't want. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you didn't know you were paying for. Wow. You may even find out you've been double charged for a subscription. Holy hell, they're raping you. To cancel a subscription, just press cancel and Rocket Money will take care of the rest. Easy peasy. Get rid of useless subscriptions with Rocket Money now. Go to rocketmoney.com slash drunk. Seriously, you could save hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash drunk. Cancel your unnecessary subscriptions right now at rocketmoney.com slash drunk. Get on it. Did you guys get party buses in high school? No. You no. Uh, we did a couple. It was just a BJ fest. It was great. On the bus? On the bus. Girls didn't know what to do. So they were like, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> Well, you just—it's all seats, so you can't what really. What should I do? You can't really dance. <laughs> also, we all have. Should we have out. a conversation? Like, yeah, we should just suck everyone off, right? Yeah, the... you're out of things to talk about. Dude, we gotta get this party bus. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just us four in a towel <laughs> sucking each other's dicks. Uh, Mark was right. <laughs> like, oh no, I got Salicuse. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> It's just, it's just coming on each other's faces. Everyone's like, this is the worst episode of We Might Be Drunk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what were we supposed to do, talk? Yeah. <laughs> on a podcast? We blew each other. <laughs> <laughs> we sucked each other's dicks. Oh, no, I'm man. actually, like, actually, it was weirdly, I was excited in the cab from the airport to come here. Yeah. Because it's like... Also, it's you've a, just been on the road alone. I yes. Mean, no, I had Dina Hashem with me. Oh, we, had, we, had, we saw movies. We yeah. had fun. But, you know, we... Uh, no, I'm coming from the airport. It's a connect flight. I'm tired. I knew, I knew booze would put me in a better mood. I knew seeing friends would put me in a better mood. It's like, you know. It is where you, you always come back, go right to the comedy store, and just like... Rejuvenated. Yeah. I'm at the cellar right after this. I might have to take my fucking luggage, but... Nice. Oh, yeah. What are you going to do? Winter move. Oh, is that it? That's yeah, your luggage. My luggage. Nice. Ooh, yeah, I love pe people's back luggage. Person? So you got to carry on with the uh, the the side bag. Yeah. Nice laptop in the side bag. Oh, you gotta have the laptop. With oh you. yeah. On, so since the show is bottomed out, let me ask you. <laughs> <laughs> you guys got any new bits? Hold on, I'm, I'm <laughs> oh, doing my love you, Salik, God damn it. Doing a Toomey review here. Yeah, I got some bits. You guys got bits? I got a Jew bit. I wrote for you guys. I'd like to run it by. You. I think okay. you're gonna hate it. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. So, you know, with the anti-Semitism bubbling up, well, I've been... Uh, thank you, my media. I've been talking <laughs> to people. By the way, that's how Mark starts every conversation. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been talking to some people, and one guy was like, oh, these Jews, come on, they're acting like babies. It's no big deal. They're acting like babies. And I was like, I don't know. I think it's, you know, whatever. Uh, but I do think, however, babies are acting like Jews. <laughs> I was at a diner with a friend, and he was Jewish, or he's Jewish, and there was a baby a table over, and they were doing the same shit. You know, they both had little hats on. The baby spit up. My friend got indigestion, and I could do eight examples, and then the bill came, and they both started crying. All right. No, that's, that's it. It's so Jews, funny. Jews don't cry when the bill comes. Up until then, it's funny, I think. For sure. Oh, well, it's a satire. I think it works. How about the, the bill came and they both pooped their pants and made an excuse to leave? <laughs> yeah, I like that better. Really? Yeah. Okay, okay. They both pooped their pants to try to get out of it. <laughs> yeah. And make no mistake, these babies will replace us. <laughs> oh, no, I would say, I would, I would, I would, I would say the, the babies both uh, went to the bathroom and tried to get out of it. Oh, that's good. That's what an that's adult good. would do. Okay. Yeah. There we go. It's a hard time. That's to a get funny that bit. Bathroom. They faked their. They they, faked. Are you ready? Have me laughing when you said babies are like Jews. Because I defend the Jews and I do. I do a no, reverse it's funny. flip. It's a good All right, bit. I'll try it. I like it. I had one that was tried last night that hit is new, but I think there's maybe more here about like sex robots. How everyone's gonna have sex robots in the future. We're going mm. on all these dates. You go on the dates and the and, and, and then you're like, well, in the future we won't go on dates because we'll just like. I mean, you get lazy when you jack off. Think about when you have a sex robot. Even poor people have sex robots in the future, right? You. you You'll have the high-end ones. It's like Spotify Premium. Then you'll have the uh, shitty ones. That's like they, you get an ad every once in a while right. while you're fucking it. You're fucking the sex robot, and like, right as you're going to come, it's going to be like, Liberty, 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 <laughs> Liberty. <laughs> the undies are coming off. <laughs> There's something there. That yeah, was, that's yeah, funny. That's the ads during sex is great. Ads during sex. Uh, 
Yeah, right. you should get a Casper. Your bed sucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you call this a bed? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All yeah, right. It's an early ad for, uh, I think, Sattva Mattress is one of those places. Segura got it for everybody. He was like, hey, I got, they're, they're giving money out for ads. Mm-hmm. Do an ad read. And I did one, and it was all about how fucking Christina straps a strap on on and fucks Tom in the ass and just fucks and makes him bleed. And, <laughs> and just he's crying, but his knees are very soft on the Sattva mattress. Uh. So, and, and I mean, they loved it. Everybody loved it. Safa was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. Take that down. Who was that who said we need an ad, but you can use anybody but Ari? Did yeah. you hear about that? Yeah. Who was that? Chuck told me. Who was it? Blue Chew. Blue Chew was like, hey, we need an ad you know done. What? I'm going to but... go ahead and say this. Shame on Blue Chew for having an ego. You're dick pills. They came you around, that? though. They but, came around. They uh, they said, "Hey, do you want to do a sponsor oh, for us?" I'm like, wait, oh. what? I was the name you couldn't use. But why you? I mean, they didn't say Harvey Weinstein. They said Ari Shafir. I did an ad for well, them. I don't think they're was... doing ads with Harvey either. Harvey. <laughs> well, he could use it. <laughs> <laughs> I did an ad for my skeptic tank. It was an episode about dogs with me and Adrian, and I was like, for Blue Chew, I was like, let's say you want to fuck your dog, but you're not sexually attracted oh. to him. The only way you can get there by using a Blue Chew. <laughs> <laughs> the only way to connect. You're not attracted. You're not a pe- fucking pedophile. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. You are still endorsing that their product works. That's that's what I was saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you want a good ad, Ari, good point. he's going to get you there. Yeah. Good point. And then they were like, no. And I was like, all right, we're done. All right. All right. So what's the bit? Uh, how about this? I've only done it a couple of times, but I don't know if it'll work yet. Pill. You know how you say your friends keep you in check? You know, they'll correct you. But I don't think that's true. Your mm. friends rarely ever give you real advice and say like, hey, what are you doing? That girl sucks for you or whatever. It's a pill that turns you temporarily autistic. Mm. And allows you to have no shame and say whatever you want to anybody. I think I've taken. It. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you gotta take the antidote. Wait a minute. Why? Why would you want to do that? Your breath smells. I don't uh, like it. Oh, and they go, "What the hell, man?" You go, "Oh, I took the You're, pill." Oh, right back. I'm sorry. I'm on something. Yeah. Ah. You can do it better. The people. By the way, they have they have that already. It's we're drinking it. I think. <laughs> call it's it. called. <laughs> yeah. You can pause and be like, "Actually, you know what? It's alcohol. I just invented alcohol." Yeah. I'll do. By the way, I'll do another if we're still rocking. I don't know. I just got to top off. Retardol. Yeah. Retardol. <laughs> I don't know. I need some names. I need some names. All a right, all right. Name. A pill that makes you autistic temporarily. It's almost a like pill. a truth serum. A, yeah. yeah, truth. That's I think. I Have no it. shame. So, suddenly you're just like you just do whatever you want to do. Don't feel bad about anything. Interesting. And you can hit three pointers. Because <laughs> autistic kids <laughs> fucking nail those threes. You can also do your taxes. Yeah. Just knock it out. Because you're autistic. That's not bad. All right. All right. What about peeves? Do we have peeves? Ooh. Anyone? Oh, I forgot. Shit, about I peeves. just had a peeve in my head from last night. I got one. All right. I just noticed this. Just come back. I was in Mexico City for Thanksgiving. Mexico and Mexico City. Man, you get around. Do get around. Notice this. You love Mexico City. Great town, right? Yeah. I've never been to Mexico. I, really? Yeah, I oh, should go. Man. What? Roma Norte, like yeah. that area. Yeah, Roma and, and like um, with the uh-huh. North Rome. Um, as soon as we land, <laughs> I'm listening. I fucking love you, Norman. <laughs> God damn Come it. On. <laughs> what the fuck? I know a little Spanish. <laughs> North Rome. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> as soon as we land, we haven't even got to the gate yet. The they start standing up, opening up the fucking what's it called? Overheads. overheads yeah and they're like guys sit down we're not at the gate we're not even like there but not docked we're not even there we're still moving yeah they sit down and they immediately start standing back up it's like guys stop we're not there yet notice the same shit Thank you. uh going to dominican republic mm. i asked uh jesus Trejo about it he said it's a latino thing oh ah. those latinos don't trust their stuff with white people uh-huh. so what? they want to get it immediately what are we gonna do i don't know all right. It's a weird Damn. stereotype about whites, I guess. Interesting. Damn. Yeah. So that's yeah. a peeve? Pet peeve. Sit down. It's a peeve. Sit yeah. down. A bunch of tri- people, a bunch of honkies tried to move to Mexico City during the pandemic, and there were so many of them that they gave uh, Whitey a 10-day allowance. What do you mean? Like, yeah. you can't live here. You can, you can come here for 10 days and visit and do the bullshit, but you Dude, can't you know live here. what they here. said to about it? They said they're going to build a wall, and they're going to make us pay for it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, they're not happy about the Americans coming. <laughs> no. There's a lot of Americans in, in Mexico City now, in Roma, and in um, in uh, La Condesa, and they're like, what? They're driving up home prices. Yeah. Back up to fucking normal prices. So I'm fucked because the lady, I was complimenting her on the wedding. I was like, you did a great job on the wedding. And she was like, yeah, maybe I got a knack for event planning. And I was like, yeah, plan for events. She's never done it? No. And so she goes, maybe for your 40th, 
I'll have a big party. And I was like, no, I don't want a party. I hate a party. I don't want to be the center of the party. I'm you really already married Joe List. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I don't want a party. <laughs> Joe. So I said, I want to go to Mexico City. I've never been. She goes, all right, we'll do that. What, do a party there? No, just go. I just want to go there. Yeah. I'd rather go somewhere than have a party what for myself. What do you use chick for? Huh? What's she, she add? Well, she'll plan it. Kayak will plan it. That's <laughs> true. Well, I'm married to the woman. I should bring her. Oh, May. Yes. Oh, I thought you meant the event planner. No, oh. May. May did most of the I was like, wedding. damn, Ari's oh. kind of callous. I was kind of. I was kind of. I was like, kinda, like, I, I was like let's see where this goes. But there was a thing. I was like, man, Ari's quiet. really. I was like, what's what? Like, what's what? going on here? <laughs> uh, no, it's a. Uh, that's I, yeah, man. I, I got to do a vacation again at some point. I, I don't do that shit. I got to really. You need a girlfriend. I know. I went on one alone, and no. then I do. I went there for one night, and I texted my friend Chase. I was like, "Get the fuck up here!" And he came. Yeah, you see? Go with the buddy. Go somewhere with the he buddy. Came, we we did it together, and it was actually really fun. We had a great time, dude. We go with a friend. It's kind of fun. It helps. They're gonna make it a group trip to Iceland this this summer. Whoa! I hear Iceland's beautiful. I have. Is that what you've heard? Yeah, I've heard it's <laughs> fucking incredible, especially yeah. in the summer. Yeah. I heard it's weak. I heard everybody kills themselves. Those Nordic areas? No, that's Syracuse, New York. Ah, <laughs> got it. Same weather. Uh, yeah, exactly. but there's a lot of suicide up there because there's no sun in the in the winter. Yeah, summer. But the summer's supposed to be beautiful. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's great. And a cheap flight, I hear. You can do stopovers on the way to whatever. Free stopover as long as you want on Icelandic mm. air. If Free you want to stopover. England or the Glasgow, whatever, um, you can just be like layover in Iceland, and they're like stay here for five six days in your layover. What? No extra cost. Wow. Wow. Air. Have you been there? Yeah, uh, three times. You're a fucking traveler. Man. Love Your passport must be just stamps, covered in dude. stains. Stamps. Yeah. <laughs> you got a new country and uh, what? You have to sew in extra pages? No, but I'd love to. I want to make a wallpaper out of all the stamps. Oh, that's good. Yeah. When's it coming out? Hanukkah? Guess where I'll be, right? I guess where I am right now. Where? Guatemala. Damn. Damn dude. Yeah. Never ends. You. Leaving my phone at home, leaving my computer at home. Just gonna fucking bring I can, my credit Mark and card. Mark and I not like you. It's interesting. No. Like we're so nervous and not that way. <sighs> Take some buses. You this. are like the rambling man of comedy. You're like, oh, I just yeah. picture you without a shirt on, just like walking through a desert. <laughs> yeah. It's like Lawrence of Arabia or some shit. You know? Walking stick, get your shirt around your head, tied up. <laughs> I just picture Ari like Moses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ari's the most biblical comedian. Uh, yeah, he's like the Israeli Jew. You're the American. Yeah, right. I'm, like the, I'm like, I'm not going anywhere, Jim. It might be cold there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go. Yeah, are you going? I'm on the road every week. Yeah. 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 That That's a different I road. I like it. I like it, though. I do like it. Fort Wayne is tough. What about, Europe, what about a European tour? I would do that. You should. I'm going now. Who are you, are you? You already planned? No, but I'm thinking about it. Who are you with? My agent? Juju. Do we have to talk about this on air? This is like an off-air conversation, I think. But uh, I'll tell you know I'm with. I'm with William Company. Morris. Oh, okay, they have a they have a. They'll figure it UK out. Department. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm planning mine for April, May. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's going with your girl. <laughs> Who's April? <laughs> <laughs> April Macy and May. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Yeah, Europe's so fun. Have I, you you've never you did it with Burby? You've never done your own thing. I right? did London. You oh. should do it. And that was awesome. I'm trying to I sloss for recommendations. It goes go to Estonia, go to Slovenia. Wow. There's a couple like off the radar. Estonia things. is like the weak country in NATO. That's like <laughs> the one we're kind of babysitting, you know? Oh really? Yeah, a yeah, little something bit. like that. We're like, eh, we have them for fucking, you know, namesake. <laughs> <laughs> like it's another it's name. Just toss them yeah. on. Good name for a weed pipe, yeah. Estonia. Uh, but yeah, Estonia, <laughs> Belarus. Uh, Louis says Sal Poland. is right. We have jumped Poland. the shark on this episode. I think we. <laughs> <laughs> Dr Pepper, whatever the fuck we're drinking, is yeah, these so are good. good. These are for sure good. Schweppes. No, no, I mean I'm fucking. I've got a nice little buzz on right now. Oh yeah. yeah. Sure. Estonia, by the way, fastest internet connection besides South Korea in the world. Oh, Look at yeah. old slur factory over here. <laughs> <laughs> Estonia. Must Why slur. is that? By internet. That's all they got. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Anytime That's you their sales pitch. Anytime you go the to a shit place, really fast, they yeah. tell you their what they have. What like known for. when I went to Fort Wayne, they're like, you know, we invented the sewing machine. I'm like. That's it. I just got off the plane. How about a nice restaurant? What's a good uh, bar? The sewing machine. Guess what? They make clothes fucking everywhere. I know. I know. Also, they were bragging to me. They, they, have, out. Like, they have the big microphone thing. They have a big microphone th uh, company in Fort Wayne. I'm like, the mic went out on me. <laughs> Three straight shows. That's hilarious. Literally, and each time I, had local, I, was, I have two long yeah. stories in my set. Every time it went out, it was in the middle of no. a long story. Wow. Where I'm building the fucking momentum. Wow. And I was like. You guys fucking kidding me? And it wasn't the club's fault. It was this goddamn camera guy 
who was trying to connect the thing and he was like i got you and i was like you don't, don't connect to the fucking thing again and he was like i won't and i was like you did <laughs> you fucking did well you got arthur running the camera over here <laughs> guys a lush arthur. Yeah. i am so sorry <laughs> i too much to drink you're a prostitute i thought i was just doing very well with you <laughs> that's pretty good that's a damn i didn't know you could movie. do arthur i've seen that movie so many fucking times oh, definitely yeah. more well we if you haven't it. seen that movie that's a fucking old timer. Are you talking about the Russell Brand version? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Yeah, who Dudley wanted to Moore, redo obviously. that movie? Was I like know, right? Redone. It's like when I heard they were going to redo Back to School. I'm like, dude, who's what? popping Rodney? Who's doing Rodney? Yeah, the other guy, on. the son, anybody could do that. Well, yeah. He was Young great. Downey Jr., though, in that too. Oh, that was pretty yeah. fun. Some Downey family. Jr. in it. He's the son's friend, the weird, you know, nice. artsy friend. And then you got Burt Young. I love Downey Jr. <laughs> before he burned out. Oh That's yeah, pretty good, right? Lesson zero. Yeah, lesson zero is good. Bring, uh, bring us a pitcher of beer every seven minutes until someone passes out. Then bring us one every ten. All right. Uh, all right. Sam's got two impressions, and you saw them both. <laughs> You're all right. You're all right. <laughs> Robert Rodney, I got this album. Let's, uh, let's there give you it go. To me. And this one. Oh, play this. This is classic. Classic. Oh, uh, nice pop-up, Salicus. <laughs> you know what you're watching at home. Anim- oh, my God. Jesus hey, sexy. God. What is this, college? You're a bad boy, Matt. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, man. Oh, my God. She seems good. plus. Good girth on that guy. That guy's girth yeah. was off the charts. She wasn't Solid seen, girth. She wasn't happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she looked in a mood, huh? Yeah, yeah. No. no. I can't find this clip. Yeah. All right, you just all don't right. want us to see what else is going on. I know, there. Jesus Christ. These do get you after a little bit. They're oh, fucking, yeah. We're drinking hard whiskey, brother. I catch up on you. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is one of the great soundtracks, too. And Jerry's dad. Oh, yeah, it's Jerry it's Stiller. Dad. No, 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 Jerry Seinfeld's dad. Really? Yeah, the guy who plays Jerry's dad in Seinfeld. It's not Jerry Seinfeld. Oh, oh, I see, I see. All right. Well, great movie, folks. Check it out. Check out Arthur. That's a fucking all timer. Some old New York shots too. Oh, Liza Minnelli's fucking great in that movie. That's a classic. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize Scorsese was married to her till recently. Yeah, no way, yeah. really. Liza yeah, Minnelli. I didn't know that. You know, they used to play Liza Minnelli version of um, uh, New York, New York. Um, when the Yankees lost, and Sinatra's version when they won. What? I mean, now which is always Sinatra. She heard and complained. What? Yeah. That's fair. What? It's sort of You don't fair. want to be associated with losing. I That's guess, not... but then just don't play the song when you lose. Just don't play the song. They got to walk out to something. They got to leave to something. Uh, to do something else. Play yeah. con- fucking Jay-Z. I don't know, man, but you can't play the same song for a win or a loss. There's no. There's nothing to it. There's That's something true. magical about walking out of Yankee Stadium. You can't do it to New York, New York, though. That is the... Yeah. I think they should play a win or loss. They should play Sinatra. That that makes sense to me. Nah. I watched New York, New York recently. It's like 1977. Yeah. And the whole movie is like uh, De Niro and Minnelli. She wants to be a singer and he wants to just, you know, be a writer. It's basically La La Land. Ah. And he's like, I want to stay true to being a jazz musician. And the whole time he's like composing New York, New York, the song. And I'm like watching him compose it and watching her like write the lyrics. I'm like, this is so trite. I know it's going to happen. The song's going to be great. Mm. But the truth is that song wasn't a song before that movie. Oh, really? Yeah. They wow. wrote it. They wrote it for that movie. Not oh, that that's amazing. Too, but, I didn't know that. And it a hit in 1980 when Sinatra sang it later. What? Yeah. what? Well, so wait. It was... Is it? It's the same song, though. Yes, yeah, same song. How the bad is hers that they play it on the losing? Well, imagine Sinatra's version sung by Lazia Minnelli. Uh... <laughs> she can sing. Fuck her. I mean, she's famous, right? For singing. For singing, yeah. Yeah, no, she's good. She's like an Hey, ugly... we just brought in some gay fans with Mateo and uh, Fortune Fiend, yeah. so don't push them all away. Sorry, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. They're right now, they're like, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> fuck has a chance? <laughs> We're getting everybody. We've we got Jewish fans now. This is good. Godfrey brought in Now, black fuck guy. you. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> well, they heard your prayer. <laughs> they checked out. I tried. That, that was, was great. <laughs> Guys, in this silence, don't forget to watch Ari Shafir's Jew on you YouTube go. right now. Almost, probably, over 5 million views right now. Yeah, even if you're anti-Semitic, just put it on and let it play. Get yeah. it to 6 yeah. million. Put it so on we mute. can remind everyone yeah. of the fucking greatest story in Jewish history. Well, hopefully, because when, when yours ends, it rolls over to mine and vice versa. Hopefully, you'll get in the mix. I think I go to Shane's. Oh, all right. Well, there you go. Even yeah, better. mine goes right to, but yeah, there'll be a mix of like a, a YouTube comment. Good Isn't cycle. Nice? Yeah. Ah, uh, this this is what they should play when the Yankees lose. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bummer. Yikes! 
Uh, you start to get the anti-Semitism out of Some guy walking out and he goes, you call that a fucking swing, Stanton? <laughs> <laughs> I just see some kid lighting these candles. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> ah, God. <laughs> I'm picturing the lady in uh, Schindler's List, the girl, goodbye, Jews. <laughs> goodbye, That's a great Jews. Louis joke. That's a great, great Louis joke. joke. Great joke. How did we miss that one? Oh, uh, yeah. Bye, <laughs> Jews. Mm, try it again. Okay, hold on. Hold Man, on. Spielberg. Here's another wreck. Spielberg on NPR, Fresh Air, talking oh. about his new movie, uh, The Fablemans. Yes. He does, he does a rare interview. He doesn't do a lot of interviews, Spielberg. He's just talking movies, and you're like, man, his life is so fucking interesting. He's like, I mean, he's American royalty. Man. Oh, like, yeah. Like, you think of the movies he's made. Like, Jaws you is You know fucking... nothing about him. Exactly. And Jaws is fucking... We're talking about, like, blockbusters. Like, think about what blockbusters are now. Avatar is fucking trash. Uh, Jaws is a great movie. A great Avatar movie. was 18 years ago. 15 yeah. years ago. Yeah. But they're making a second, and they spent $2 billion $2 on billion. It. But... Yeah. What's John's, his risk? what's his peak? Spielberg? Movie? Yeah, what's the one? E.T. Like, this is your Hall of Fame. E.T. E. Schindler's I, List. Jaws is up there. Saving though. Private. Jaws is up there. E.T. I feel like was the blockbuster. Maybe it's because I was a kid. Well, Jaws yeah. was the first summer blockbuster, and yeah. it's his first movie. Isn't that insane? No, really? Well, was well, his dude, first He came up film. with like Lucas, and they were like, it was like Star Wars and Jaws. Oh, is that yeah. true? Yeah. Like, and then Indiana. Me? Yeah, yeah, Indiana Jones. Is, well, they, that's where they came together. Right, right. That's when they met. It's like a young Sagalow on my cannon. <laughs> <laughs> I would say you know, Raiders of the Lost Ark is. is like one of the coolest fucking movies. You know, they, they were trying to make like the shittiest action movie they can make, and they ended up with is Raiders that right? Of the Lost Ark. Yeah, they, they was like, they were just like, okay, what is like the basis, the lowest thing that we can write, and they ended up with Raiders. No, it's a right. great fucking. It's movie. great. College professor turns our you know uh, archaeologist and the fucking the score shows how how far a score will take you like yes. Star Wars and Indiana Jones like you hear those songs forever John iconic. Williams iconic iconic ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da -da. yeah da -da -da -da. yeah yeah he did, he did ball don't he's forget one, he's one oh. cool motherfucker never mind I was and gonna H. say Back to the Future that's not Spielberg it's uh, not Harrison Ford either no that's uh, Zemeckis Zemeckis also great he did that and and. Um, fucking retardo, Forrest Gump. And yeah, then, uh, yeah. Benjamin Buttons, which is exactly like. No, Forrest that was Gump. David Fincher. Yeah. What? Yeah, bro. <laughs> what? Come at me, bro. No. Oh, same writer. Same writer. Sorry, same writer. All right, good save, Wario. Yeah, nice wow. try, bro. <laughs> All right. We went in a movie land there. We're nerds. Yeah. We love yeah. movies. Who yeah. drank this episode in the last seven episodes? This is a good fucking app, though. <laughs> We're rolling, man. I do like hanging out with you guys. Yeah, yeah no, I, this is great. I can tell I'm getting drunker because I keep eyeballing that butane fuel. Like, well, <laughs> I'll really play, with play with that thing and light this whole thing Dude, up. Dude, the best was at, at your wedding. Uh, so they had the... <laughs> <laughs> Just explodes. Yeah. 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 Don't do this indoors. Yeah. We had the, the sparklers. Yeah. yeah and they had everyone line up and then Mark goes through it, you know, like a fucking uh, a horror. And, uh, Horror, so we're, we're well, easy. She's, she's, she's my wife. <laughs> we're lighting up, but there's some drunks there. Oh, and yeah. we're waiting. We all dip it in fucking alcohol, and then we're just waiting. And this girl's like this, like whatever. They're like, all right, light your things. And she's like, all right, and she's trying to hold it. She keeps trying to like hit people with it. <laughs> she's like, you can barely oh, wow. hold it right, waiting for you guys to come out. People are like, watch it. She goes, I am watching it. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know that. I definitely got cornered by a few of Mark's like drunken childhood friends at the end of the oh, night. And I was like, holy shit, if I got married, they would be cornered. My friends would be cornering Mark. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I saw the photos, and you, you can see them. They're like, and you're like, <laughs> like how the. Where's Stavros? Yeah. That was just Jason Cantor. <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> but yeah, my childhood friends, they literally, I was at the, the altar and I look at my phone because I am i got there a little early and one guy goes, don't get married yet, I'm in an Uber. And I'm like, that's a classic text from a childhood friend right don't there. Don't get married yet, I'm That in is an a Uber. great picture. Stav just stuffing Ari's face and it was, but we're such fucking degenerates. Such like, look degenerates. At this. And by the way, that cock tasted great. It was... <laughs> Greek. <laughs> yeah, it tastes like tzatziki. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I have no memory of this no at all. No memory. Boy, that there. might have been the ugliest group at the wedding right there. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ, what a lineup. <laughs> Whoa, yeah. list. Uh, Big J had the best line. Big J, uh, uh, he goes, uh, man, I heard you got married at Joe List concert. <laughs> Damn, that's hilarious. Joe fucking ruled on the fucking right. mic. That was so good. Sober man. guy. Killing yeah, it. And he's like, I don't know what to <laughs> Just right in. By the way, Sally, yeah. we paid a douche to take photos, which I regret. 
I still haven't gotten his. Wow. He's like, well, I'm he's editing. not topping what you did, man. Yeah, pull up some more of those pictures. They're fucking know. incredible, man. What the hell? Oh, that's a great one. Oh, wow. That's our bar. Oh, that's we brought so those good. cigars. That were great. Boo. Who's that chick? Boo. That's not fun. There's her dad. Boo. Hey, oh. that's a classic. That is a great pick. Is that the um? Is that's that the walk around the block? Second line. You can second see the line. horse manure right there. Oh. Oh, we got some wow. liver spots oh, coming in. Spots Hello. There. Where did that come from? Well, a leopard. Wow. Oh, that's I like your John Goodman one. Lebowski sunglasses. Yeah. Kind of fun, no, Donnie. Will Sylvins is Donnie. Mm. Wow, that's a he good really one. Is. That's, that's great. I love that one. Of the insane outfits. That's yes. the post. That's a picture to post when Joelis dies. Like yeah. we were friends. <laughs> no, I, I'm I think he might outlast anyway. us based on the path we're all on. Well, he has McDonald's three times a day. Yeah, he told me. He actually texted me recently. He was like, "Yeah, I went to the doctor, and some some of my health is not good." I was like, "Gee, it wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that you eat chicken parm three chicken times parm. a fucking day, and two cigars, yeah, yeah, and a diet." Coke. You think a fucking one green tea a day is saving you from all the fucking degenerate <laughs> shit you're putting in your body? Good point. Oh, oh soda. that's a great action shot. I wonder what's going on there. Yeah, the insodes. He's yeah. calling you Jew, and you're saying that's the name of my special. <laughs> <laughs> Good what, times. What a fucking fun town to do this in. Now, aren't you glad? Imagine if you saw these photos and yeah. you weren't there. No <laughs> offense, everybody else in the room. But you'd be like, ah, oh, come on. We missed it. Oh, that's a that's a divorce coming right there. <laughs> but, uh, get, get, get out of that, that one. That, the, the caption of that picture, I'm sorry I left the baby in the car. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I rolled the window down. <laughs> Woo. That background is so good. That that wallpaper. Peters, are we going to show these pictures during the pod? Can you? Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah they're on the ground. Oh, that's a good one. Let's see it. Pull that. What is that? Oh, look, uh, that's a fun one. I love the velvet jacket, Mark. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that was my after great. after ceremony jacket. My shoes. My feet were killing me. I got band aids on my feet. Tarantino's oh, yeah, gonna yeah, love that one. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we book Quentin. Mark's yeah. Feet. <laughs> Oh, badass. That's a Bodega Cat photo. Oh, yeah. Yep. Well, I'm banged up right there. Yeah. Oh, there's Stavi. Oh. Ah! I, t- I, I took a similar one. Yeah, Stavi. Woo! It was hard to find a pick without Stav holding cake. But uh... Yeah. That's my childhood friend. That's yeah, one he of was them. fun. I was talking to him for a minute. He's a good good egg. I liked him. All right. Is this bad pod? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, Doug yeah. Key. It's vi- this is visual stuff. All right. We're sorry, guys. We've been drinking. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash we might be drunk. Ari Shafir, or is it We Might Be Drunk you. Pod? Is what? We Might Be Drunk Pod. Was We Might Be Drunk taken? Yeah, my dad had it. <laughs> He's a I drinker. love your dad. Well, you're the one. He's so quiet. <laughs> well, there was one moment where... I do declare. <laughs> Stop very... and I were doing that the whole weekend. We went, I oh, do declare. So Just taking taking dollar bills. I do declare. <laughs> Sir, you have insulted me. <laughs> <laughs> if any fine woman would like to suck our pecker, we are <laughs> strapped full of cash. I guarantee <laughs> I will come quickly. Uh, my dad, he was talking to me at one point, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm talking talking to him back he, he won't respond you were there i think you had checked Very out quiet and list is across from me and list is like getting all uncomfortable and my dad walks away and list goes i've never felt closer to you and i was like what do you mean he's like your dad is more awkward than my dad and i was like uh-huh. all right i'm glad you got to see it so that yeah. was a nice moment right. Damn. but I couldn't get a word out of him then he roasted the shit out of me on the speech oh I think yeah he got you good oh yeah funny. oh fucking bedwetter over here <laughs> <laughs> hey mark Remember when you pissed your fucking bed for years? Yeah. Pretty much. That was a speech. That was about it. Well, good luck getting married now. I know. He's like, I've been sitting on all this. Like, oh, <laughs> He's giving you shit for being too old to do it. I'm hearing that. I'm like, I guess the clock's ticking for me, too, then. <laughs> yeah, was so I'm, funny. I'm nowhere close. So funny. He was like, you know, he's 30. What are you, how old are you? 39. He's like, he's 39. I'm like, that's not old in my world. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you're talking to. Both of you live, damn it. Live. <laughs> live. I- I'm living through you. This is the Billy point. Madison screen. Yeah. <laughs> grab your cheeks. Yes, yes. Stay <laughs> here as long as you can. <laughs> yes. Dude, every time I go to the beach with my high school friends, we go to Dewey Beach all the time. They're like, you're going to fuck this weekend? I'm like, no, I'm hanging out with you guys. Like, yeah. We should fuck some slut. <laughs> I'm like, guys, calm down. Are you? Do you bring your lady to Guatemala, or you just go? I go. I just hang out by myself. You don't myself. bring your lady? I hang out by myself. Wow. I can see the world. You don't want to bring your lady? Other I feel places. like that's the point of being in a relationship. Mexico City. No, you, some on, some off. This is exploration. I How love it. How did she respond to that? 
I don't know. I turned my phone on silent. <laughs> she knows what she signed up for. She knows what she signed up for. In the words of Bert, Ari's good for small doses. <laughs> right. Sitting on that for about That's a week brilliant. and a half. Oh, That's boy. Awesome. <laughs> Mark, thanks for sit- pulling us out of a 10-minute lull. <laughs> the shop we're literally, we're literally commenting on Woo! photos for 10 minutes. Mark's like, I got one locked and loaded. Just that call joke me Sully. Ju- that joke just knocked out the Shamish. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Is that Shamish? It's the middle candle. Yeah. That joke oh. Flew- that joke flew- uh, flew higher than Kobe, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, just trying to, I'm trying to work with what we have here, folks. We Come should on. run some Kobe beef. All right. All right. Mamba. Ah, uh, the black Mamba, yeah. Um, you could have gone after his kids, you didn't. That was nice. All right, let's not paint All him right. as a hero, <laughs> you fucking idiot. He's a, he's a, he's a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. Come on. Uh, I'm not saying the kids. I'm just saying he could have. Oh, don't, don't, let's not. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's not get carried away uh, here either. Alex is bringing dates up. I guess we're getting clapped off here. Oh, no, oh, no we lost Christ. a tit. We lost a tit. What do no, you have, cancer? dude, those tits are fucking important. I'm not going to be able to get them. We need the tits. Come on, use All those All tits arms. matter. Come on. Yeah, tit for tat. I got a hey! tit. Yeah! All right, plug some dates coming up, This is a Bob man. Nelson gig right here. Um, <laughs> Pittsburgh in January. Salt Lake in January. Tampa in February. Denver. I'm doing... A greatest hit show. I've never done this before. What does All that my, mean? My best hits from over the years. That's oh, fun. Wow, I don't, I don't remember mine. Yeah, I got to look them up. I got to really you prepare. Yeah, you listen to albums. Vancouver ah. in the February show just added. San Jose. I got Seattle that just uh, went on sale, and uh, the Beacon Theater in New York City, the biggest show I've ever done. Whoa! March twenty fourth. Get tickets at AriShafir dot com. That's big, baby. It's gonna be fucking. You're gonna compete awesome, with man. Seinfeld. Is he there March 25th and 3rd? Well, he's back at the Beacon. <laughs> I, uh, I don't think my audience is. We got, uh, we got Spokane, OKC, and then all, all theaters from here on out oh. building up. So New Orleans, Austin, Tulsa, Dallas, oh, St. Louis, Vegas, uh, Vancouver added a show there. Saint, uh, Seattle, whoa, 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 whoa. Portland Where's Vancouver? Where's Vancouver? Show. Back down in Vancouver. The Vogue. So you're, not, you're doing it a, a month before me. Oh, oh okay. You're not shit. doing the uh, sold out? Nice, bro. We'll keep going. Go I down. I just did that Late when it's a killer got theater. got fucking uh, Salt Lake City. Yeah, Hopefully I get into that NBA All-Star weekend. We'll Woo! see what happens. Uh, AC, Royal Oak, Michigan, Minneapolis. We're adding there. I think we did already. I don't know. Madison, fucking When are you going to be in New Haven, Connecticut? New Haven. I don't know. Look, March 9th. <laughs> oh, I'm Boston, doing that this weekend. We got a couple there. We'll add another in a second. So fucking finish that one off. Uh, Miami, Orlando. We're almost done here. You got this Atlanta, <laughs> March. Charleston, March. fucking Durham, Ooh, Charlottesville. That's going slow. But you're so big. You're not, you're not Norfolk big. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm fucking not, bro. Norfolk, D.C., uh, and Wilkes-Barre, PA, as, uh, along with Port Chester. See on the road, samuel.com wow. slash shows. Let's go. Hell yeah, you're Let's doing like go. the country run. Damn, you're Virginia doing the fucking, and, yeah. and North Carolina. Tour bus, baby. Oh. We're doing a tour bus? We're doing the fucking bus, bro. I'm thinking of doing that next year. It's Party bus. Fun. Who are you going to go with? I'll blow Me, you. Me, Veter, James Webb, who directed my special, and fucking, uh, we got a tour manager, Brian. So I'm Hell yeah. Pumped. What's James Webb doing? Videographing or yeah, opening? Ooh. No, video. Great. Good video on that bus. You and Veter playing who, video games. Who gets the big room? I think I'm just going <laughs> to do two lounges and bunks. Yeah, You're take a bunk too. We'll do a quiet. We'll do a quiet. Uh, we'll do a quiet lounge in the back and a loud lounge in the front. If people want just some space, right? I like it. Because I think I don't need that. I don't think you sleep in that bed for real. I don't think anyone actually sleeps. In nah, that bed. no I one think, does. I think everyone sleeps overnight though. But let sleep, everyone sleep in the same situation. I think we sleep in the bunks. I think we kind of all, all do bunks are probably better anyway. Is it quiet though? Oh yeah. And the bunks is quiet. Bunks is quiet. They, they bunks lull is you. That yeah, the, but, don't, but doesn't that open into the main room? There's no, no door. No, no, you put a no, 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 no. And we get the we get the back lounge where we can just kind of chill and be. I'm like that one will be if you want to get away from the hang. Right. And the front one will be if you want to fucking hang videos. Yeah, Love it. We'll put on like you know a good movie, maybe a fucking game or something. Play some PS5. I don't wait, know. wait. Scroll up. Oh shit, you missed it. Back. Uh, it's gone. But yeah, we did the the. Matt? Oh, you can see that's the Veter door down on the bottom middle there. Um, <laughs> the doggy door? Yeah, the doggy door. You can come, come and go as Veter, he pleases. You can't poop on the bus, but you can, he has a little litter box. <laughs> Veter <laughs> does represent the lollipop guild. <laughs> <laughs> the lollipop guild. Mark, where are you going to be, man? Um, yeah, Mark, say about your taste. My, I have not updated my website, but I got it up here. <laughs> when, when is Hanukkah again? December 23rd. 
Start January 12th. Jan- no, oh, no, 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 no. Hanukkah no, no, no. does not start in January, dude. Oh. 17th, 17th. Oh, okay, he's, he's at okay. Cubs now. Maybe this is over. Cubs and... might be over. Then I'm at Zany's Comedy Club. The Blue Note in Hawaii. Done it. It's great. Really? Yeah. In well, Honolulu? In hold on, hold on. Now, hold on. How are you going for? How long are you going for? Uh, Well, I was going to go for four nights. No. I got a place in Kauai. You got to stay. Kauai? Yeah. Yeah. I'll, Leonard? I'll hook you up later. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. I was going to jump on that. You got a show to pay for it if you want, but All I got right. a spot for yeah, you. Yeah, let's go. Then doing Miami Improv again. And then a, uh, I'm doing a no, bunch of No, I like the clubs. Miami Improv is good, dude. Miami Improv is great. Miami is great. Gross. Uh, I mean, I was just in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So let's not get carried away with what's gross. <laughs> good people. No, no. Nice it'll be, people. It'll be a good Good show. people. Miami is a, uh, Miami's a good hang. I mean, get some good Cuban food. Oh, yeah. Go to the beach. I don't hate Miami. South I, Beach is I cool. I hate Miami. I'm going there a day early for my tour because the Knicks are playing the fucking heat in Miami the night before my tour starts in Miami, motherfucker. Damn. That's great. That's great. Me and little Gary going to be fucking behind the bench giving middle fingers to Jimmy Butler. Yeah. yeah. Not really because Jimmy Butler's scary. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. And I respect him too much. But just Slightly behind your own finger. Just like, you know what's back here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm friends with Duncan Robinson, but I'm scared to ask for tickets because I'm going to be rolling in a fucking Knicks jersey. You can't do it. I can't do it. When you ever get those, like, uh, the fucking, you know, producers or whatever, like, agent tickets for the Knicks or the Rangers, they're like, come, you cannot wear the opposing. And I'm like, well, I'm not a fan of the Rangers or the fucking Knicks. What am I going to do? Oh, I am. Yeah, you are. Go Pels! The Knicks have been uh, quite a Pelicans. Yeah. The Knicks have had quite a roster of celebs at the front lines. You notice that? Gaffigan came out. I saw that. What do you mean front lines? Well, on the, what do you call Court it? Side. Front Court Court side. Court side. Yeah, front line. It's not war, Mark. It's a good thing. <laughs> Did you see who was in the trenches of the garden last night? <laughs> you mean third row? <laughs> you see the foxhole seats. That's what I call the box. <laughs> By the way, bodegacatwhiskey.com. Yes. Get your I met the right guy now. in Austin. Chris. He's a great guy. He gave me a fucking bottle. I met him. He's a great guy. He handed me a bottle for someone else. Mm. We love him. We love Chris. Good and, egg. Uh, yeah. Chris I'd Hart. like to add, fuck him. There you go. Yeah, you know what? Fuck that guy. Yeah. I, you changed my mind. He come to the wedding? No. I invited him the day before. Last minute. Yeah, I told him to invite him the day before, and Mark was like, I'm on it. And I was like, probably doesn't work the day before. <laughs> yeah, but it was still it was still like you remember, you're like, oh shit, yeah, he's close. I bet he'd come. There he you gave go. Me invite. We tried. All of Mark's invites were fucking evites. That's right. You did it well. I don't well, know. What, I didn't do any of it. We but, love you guys. Thanks thank for you. listening. Watch Ari Shafir's special Jew on YouTube right now. He's a good friend. Uh, we're proud of him. We're happy he came in today. Uh, Salamanca, Akoi, Peters, Beer Jew, Beer Jew. What, what do you got to promote here, brother? Good Beer cocktail. Jew. All I got to promote is that I'm uh, here in December at Say Less still. <laughs> You've been drinking these, bro. Not at all. What are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, you're slurry drunk because you can tell. Like I know what level you're at. And then um, after that, if anyone is in Malaysia, Indonesia, hit Whoa, me up. That's where, where I'll there? be traveling. Where are you going? Uh, Malaysia. I got some spots. <laughs> Damn. Fair. Fair. Right just got face. sassy on you. Oh, yeah. Fair. Silver tongue. Right in my face. No, uh, and then uh, uh, a little bit of uh, Vietnam and then South Korea and Japan. Ooh. How long are you going for? Uh, I have Sick. a one-way ticket to Kuala Lumpur and then Sick. work from there. Nice. Shouldn't this be a, a gingerbread temple? Come Should on. be. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. What does Jewish that in mean? the front, party in the back, brother. <laughs> yeah, that's what I call my haircuts, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, all right. Well, this has been a great episode. We love when Ari comes by. Classic, as always. Uh, subscribe to We Might Be Drunk, and thanks for listening, guys. Get a glass and free Palestine. Free Palestine. Day three is about to go out. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> Day three's out. Those were the nights of Hanukkah. I remember long ago when our family got together. Little eyes of glow, multicolored candles burning as the joyous songs were sung. How I miss all the menorah lights when we were all so young.
cuz every Hanukkah forgot them in the frying pan and cheer while we were having fun playing dreidel smoke alarms were wailing everywhere firemen were breaking all the windows Sadie closed his eyes began to pray those luck cuz had no luck our mouth bit down and stuck but Bobby made us feed them anyway One by 